And we're live. Dun 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 dun. dun. <sighs> There's a countdown timer. See it? I see it. 420. Woo! Wow. <laughs> Yellow swag. <laughs> Remember, kids, yellow swag for Jesus. <laughs> oh, dude, there was straight up like a bunch of people working cashier named uh, Jesus at that casino. It was great. Oh, man. Oh, I didn't mean to ask you. I didn't mean to. I did mean to ask you. Hey, beautiful people, what's going on? We promise we're going to be doing a show in a minute. Um, did you get into any uh, games of chance? Hell no. <laughs> not, 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 not even not, one. Not, I mean, I, I, if I was a gambler, I will sacrifice a $20 bill every time I'm in Vegas. Listen, I, I, I've, I have been playing Dungeons & Dragons for 20 years. This is a game that relies on random die rolls to generate results. Mm -hmm. And over that 20 years, I've learned that my luck is not good enough for me to be a successful gambler. <laughs> I don't know, man. There's something about R just R and Jesus. seeing how long I can keep the dream alive. At a blackjack oh. table, I'll eventually bust. But. <laughs> oh man, though, I, 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 I will say I fucking came close a couple times. It's like, it's it's the bright flashing lights and like the sounds and shit, <laughs> fucking attacks that part of your lizard brain that's just like, ooh, I want to push the button. Plus, <laughs> I mean, if you camp out in the right, I mean, most everyone has free drinks. Yes. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, yeah, because like. The, the 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 cost of like some shitty daiquiri or whatever mm -hmm. is way lower than the amount of money they're gonna make off of you. House well, always wins. Yeah, when 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 you're hammered and making poor decisions. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need Vegas for that. Ha! Life hack. <laughs> life, life hack. Some Stay them, home and make poor decisions while drunk. Some of them will even give you free food to go with that drink. Oh yeah. You can gonna think of how many times you've tallied. I was like, good thing I was drinking last night. <laughs> I guess if you fall down a flight or stairs or get S shot, you'd be you saying fall, that. I, I was like, true story of a flight of stairs. I'm like, you know, that's exactly where I went because I, I never determined to this date whether or not I fell down a flight of steps or I got in a fight. <laughs> because I was smashed up pretty bad. I was like, well. <laughs> But that 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 is totally a thing. Apparently, if you if you have alcohol in, in your system, you are more likely to survive a like a tough fall or like a gunshot because mm -hmm. you're relaxed. Yeah, I don't know about a gunshot because you do bleed more. <laughs> but I th I think the other thing too is you're less likely to like go into shock. Mm. This is true. And like when you get like depending on where you get shot, you might fall. And again, Down it goes some back stairs. to the, yeah, on onto some more bullets. Mm -hmm. It was a suicide. <laughs> Greedfall. I've heard things about that. Dirt rallies. That's a two point mm, yeah. mm -hmm. The crew too. Electric Tyranny. booger crew. Ty Tyranny's a uh, native on Linux. What's that about? Uh, it's a uh, it's a isometric RPG about playing bad people running a government. Yeah, had me. Yeah, basically, uh, the bad guys won in the uh, supposed previous RPG, so now you get to play as the bad guys who are running the world. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> Which was the, the whole two. thing behind XCOM Two, because it's like, oh yeah, and X. As it turns out, most people who started playing XCOM didn't finish XCOM, so the aliens won. <laughs> uh, the crew too, man. I, I, I'm genuinely surprised people actually bought the second crew after they shut down the servers for the first one. Oh man, people don't learn. <laughs> Apparently not. Don't be silly. No. 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 Impossible. I mean, the first one now works on Linux. Um, hey, man, that was like super sweet. Uh, Newegg gave Lutris a little shout out. They did. Mm -hmm. They did on the Twitters, and they're like, "Hey, man, look, here's the thing, Lutris. We 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 have it. In, we have it in the in the thing. In the end of the news yes. segment. It's, it's one. It's one of the benefits of becoming a Patreon. You get that uh, tribal knowledge. 
Real quick. Real quick. Patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. Obey. Consume. Oh. Obey my dog. Dude. Yeah, I was, I was really glad I, I saw that. I hope they start keep doing it every Friday because that's my favorite threads. It's like time till I would run Linux, but mm. first response. This dude set a new bar, people. He did. He was like, I'd run Windows as soon as all of my game is played. And no, I don't count emulation. <laughs> and icing, icing on the chainsaw. This dude played retro, plays retro games. So I was like, okay, so you don't use em any emulators when you play your retro games. But is he like, one of those uh, hardware purists? I don't know. He was like, wine is not an option. Emulation doesn't count. And I'm like, that. that's a... V you, well, hey, 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 hey. Wine, wine is not an emulator. It's in the fucking name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is the fucking name. <laughs> mm. I, I don't know, man. Just be like, listen, I'm not smart enough to run Linux, and we're cool. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, this all started because New uh, Newegg had a um, a poll on Twitter, and apparently Linux was like two percent higher than Mac, and everything else was Windows. Well, you 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 have to imagine though that you know the people buying computer components off Newegg, not going to be buying shit for Macs. No, not so yeah. much. <laughs> So, yeah, after they did that poll, they started, like, sharing those posts, like, yeah. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Newegg, make a horrible decision and, like, plug us next week. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, if they want to swing a sponsorship deal, we'll shuffle, new we'll shuffle Newegg. We'll shuffle all the Newegg's. Well, yeah. Shilful. 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 Singular. Full of shills. Noun. <laughs> Country of origin? <laughs> Singapore. Sounds about right. My brain was in Singapore when I said <laughs> that. Man, we are definitely going to be talking uh, about uh, System 76, New Hotness, New Threader Raptors. Yeah. That's the thing. It, it, it is. <clears throat> Big honking New Threader Raptors. Mm hmm. Some someone someone else got a big big honking new grant, that's happening. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bit more than everyone else we've talked about at this point on the show. <laughs> a little bit. Spool up the speculation drive, motherfuckers. <laughs> Simple hat time. Oh, dude, do we sell out to Epic? Oh, dude, we we will we sell out to Epic. I mean, you, you toss enough zeros. Hang, this is after... what I'm saying. Wait, hang on. What's 250 grand divided by three, though? Some weird number. I think it's like, what, nine? Something? Yeah, just under like uh, 80 each. Yeah. So do we sell up for 80 grand a pop? <laughs> yeah, 80, 80, 83.3333333. Oh, it's over 80. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, for eighty grand to pop, See. I mean that that, that 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 would buy a year. Yeah. To sell out. Yeah. A year where we don't say anything bad about Epic. <laughs> well, you see that? Yeah, that's the thing, Scott. It's like, like two fifty would count. Like if I just took the money and ran with it, but that wouldn't be very cool. No. <laughs> Plus, it'd be kind of boring. yeah. No. The they, they the only show. gave us ten thousand dollars, so yeah, that's right. gonna be three three hundred each, right? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hundred seventy seventy five. Yeah. Yeah, eighty grand is not enough to. Uh, I mean, yes, Epic for eighty grand a pop. We will not say anything bad about you for a year on this show. Wait, we started actual... a brand new podcast, by the way. It's called the <laughs> Fuck Epic Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Salty, thanks for another five-month resub. You're crazy. <laughs> Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. <laughs> ah. So salty. My, my little heart. 
Couldn't handle it. It's it's so it's so salt and crusty. <laughs> okay, we gotta get doing a show. If I start stripping in the middle of the show, it's because I got too warm. Even better, I just felt like getting naked. I mean, I was I was just assuming you'd be like getting naked. Mm -hmm. I feel bit. like making love. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, I. I, I, I guess I'll do it in the intro. I got I got a I got a funny karaoke story. Ooh. <laughs> I'm finished choking down this team. Linux Nero, I take offense to that. I I, I mean he's a gentleman <laughs> in the not sense of like or a man. <laughs> okay. I, I was I was I was gonna say you're a gentleman in the sense that you like you are someone who patronizes a gentleman's club. <laughs> I... Man, I, I see. This is what happens when I have too many options. I just shut up. I'm like, guys, <laughs> spoiled for choice. I don't know what to do with that. All that. It's too much. Uh, too much to eat. The buffet. I'll take like tolerable toddlers <laughs> instead of gentlemen. I can. I, I can be a gentleman, sir. Tolerable yeah. toddler is the best the, you're getting out of me. The, the trick is to keep your pinky up at all times. Be classy. <laughs> mm. SpongeBob taught me that. Let's go. <clears throat> Sarcasm yeah, paralysis, baby, is real. I'm not a gentleman, I'm a rough boy. <laughs> I wear my leather. You wear black leather, no matter the weather? Yes. I smell great in the summer. Oh, you can't imagine the smell. <laughs> Toast Especially it. in a Hummer. <clears throat> Three, two, one, and welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how-tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm Vin Stone, joined every week by the man up north in Canada, Canada's roughest writer, sometimes the smelliest. Mm. He's back from Vegas, all, more all, than that at a 13, and Pedro Mateus down in Britannia <laughs> land, on the Isle, Windy Island. This week, <laughs> very windy. I this like is it. A true Actually, thing, here to win. And uh, <laughs> you at home, joining us live, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. That's Shot Room Dynamic. They were the brilliant part of this nightmare train, which is about to pull off the rack. We got a big show this week. But the big news is you came back from Vegas. I did. Yeah. I, I got flown out there. I got to stay in a five star hotel for um, four days, mm. um, three of which were paid by another company. One of which I'm gonna I'm gonna freaking comp to the company because screw that I'm not paying three hundred dollars. Um, but yeah, no, it, it it was it was fun. I didn't get to experience the full Vegas milieu because you know you're mostly there for work, mm -hmm. so you're doing the work stuff. Um, if you if you want to hear the full travelogue, you gotta check out the pre pre super shows. And but I gotta I, I I do have a story. Me and the guy I was traveling with, we're walking down the strip. Okay. And there, there's 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 a place called the Piano Bar, and in between, uh, in between the actual musical acts that perform there, they do karaoke. Oh mm. boy, do they do karaoke! Do they do like uh, regular or uh, actual like IRL? I'm drunk and high karaoke. I'm pretty sure that dude I'm going to tell you about was drunk because <laughs> you, 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 you know you know that you know that song. I've been waiting for a girl like you to come into my life. I've been waiting. Oh yeah, good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, this this guy tried to sing it. He tried to hit the high note, and he failed spectacularly. Oh man, was... I can I, I can nail it. <laughs> oh, it it, 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 it was so... just give out completely. And, and went... Oh yeah, it it was it was so good. That that that, that guy that guy. See, you you can't... here's the thing. You don't have to be good at karaoke. You just got to give it your all. No, no one's expecting you to be a good singer. You just got to fucking get up there and belt, dude. That that this is like you know, see how bad. I mean, if you're bombing, dig into it. I mean, oh, it just, I yeah, lean, in, lean into how bad it is. It, 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 it was so good because we we're walking by, and it's just like, I've been waiting for a girl like you. 
It was so good. <laughs> it just came out of nowhere. There's like waiters and waitresses just like dropping over dead. No, like ah. Yeah, there, 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 are, there are dogs looking around trying to see like what the hell's going on. Pedro, what's up with you, girlfriend? You got anything new? Uh, I do actually. I have this. Uh, well, it's new to me, but uh, to anyone who's actually been paying attention to the kind of equipment that the show is done on, mm-hmm. it's a uh, Behringer Zenix Eight Hundred Two. Never heard of it. Yeah, <laughs> no, <laughs> it's uh, it was twenty pounds off eBay. Uh, so yeah, I'm just waiting for the uh, last bit of cable that I need to actually plug this into the. Um, 2600 um mdx yeah uh but yeah no that this was a very nice find um yeah no for 20 pounds off ebay i'm really not complaining and of course i uh got everything up and running in the steam box yes before before you talk about that i want to ask because (laughs) when i got my when i got my 802 it had a very distinct aroma Mm -hmm. that I, i i have received packages from ven before and it just smells like pipe tobacco. Yep. What is what yeah, is mine didn't. What is, what is your eight hundred two smell like? <laughs> Let's isn't. see. Let's have a look. Yeah, like I straight up know what Ben's house smells like. It's 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 so weird because it's like a little little capsule of like oh. Right, it doesn't really that's, smell that's, like anything. That's, that's the Ven's smell. You genuinely have that mixer where it's probably got little bits of tobacco and shit in it. Oh, it, was, it absolutely does. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that it was shoved into a box and sealed. So yeah. Mm. Mm. Lovely. <laughs> Dude, um, I get a couple of new things. How do new things show up? Um, unexpectedly, I get a new interface in the rack. If you follow me on Discord, I even post the whole thing on Twitter. It is a Digi003. So like back when they were new, they retailed for about 1600 bucks. And uh, kind of yoinked one for about 50-something. So I'm going to be playing with that. That's going to be a fun video. It's going to be an adventure to get that up and running. I'm kind of scripting that out. Uh, that, that's kind of it. I'm also waiting on the um, new control surface that's 19 years old to show up so I can desolder a bunch of things on it and make it work again. That's me. What's the horse up to? Does, is the, did the horse come back from Vegas? No, the horse... See, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. And the horse was happening, let me tell you. It's the Steam Lurk. Hey, update. Where are you going about the week? Of the week. Yeah. I don't know Steam's where I was dead. Rip. that. Okay. Rip nope. peace. Too late. Steam Rip died. It, Pedro. Can't use it anymore. Um, <laughs> Steam just broke a new record player count by nearly 300,000. Previous record, 18.5 million. Was about two years ago. This is coming from PC Gamer. All this is going to be in our show notes, but 18.8 million is nothing to sneeze at, man. But uh, that's about 1 million less players uh, actually in game versus uh, the last count 5.8 million versus 7 million two years ago. But progress. Yeah. It, yes. looks, it looks like a lot of uh, a lot of Valve's investment in uh, China is paying in dividends because. Most most of those new, new users have actually come from mainland China, mm-hmm. and it seems like uh, Chinese has. I'm not sure if it's like Mandarin or um, Cantonese, whichever, uh, has taken to be the most popular language on Steam now. So, hmm. interesting. Yeah, it it makes sense. You know, uh, it's like um, what is it? I can't remember the exact percentages, but yeah, no, uh, the the amount of people in the world that speak uh, Mandarin is uh, insane. So yeah, it makes perfect sense. And 18.8 uh, million is a very big number of active people concurrently using the platform. And one of the things I didn't see around all of this was uh, any of the other third-party stores saying anything. It's like, it, oh, all of a sudden, Tim Sweetie has gone very quiet on yeah, Twitter. because Steam's a monopoly, and Epic's trying to save us, Pedro. <laughs> so so I, I, just, I just had a thought about um, the active in-game uh, users dropping. Do you think that has anything to do with uh, Valve cracking down on Smurf accounts? Because there are a lot of game, or a lot of accounts that were just idling in games to collect, like, trading cards and shit, right? Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. You know, because they went through a couple of rounds of that in 2019, man. Yeah, they, mm-hmm. yeah. So that 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 would definitely account for a substantial drop in like active in game. You count active account. users, uh, the users that just show up on Friday to get a free game. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I have pick. 
You haven't paid us yet. Uh, but uh, <laughs> the price has gone up to one hundred thousand dollars each. <laughs> Linux has increased market share, kind of. It has by a whole of not point not seven, but yeah, that brings us up to a very round uh not point nine percent of the total share. So. You know, Almost according one... to some um, numbers uh, and some logic that was applied against me on Reddit a while back, uh, it means that uh, if we take those 18.8 uh, million people that we just talked about and we get like uh, not 0.9% of those, that's 170,000 people on Linux. Uh, so that's, uh, yeah. That's a uh, thing. Then, it, it... then scrolling through the video cards now. Uh, it looks like the 1060, 1060 is still kind of top dog, but it's losing ground. And the uh, the 580, the 570, and the 5700 XT are actually gaining some traction under Linux and Steam. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of I was looking like, oh, no, only dead last is the RX 5700. And I was like, okay. That's a, but, um... I mean, it's 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 a brand new card, and it it's only recently gotten, like, mainstream Linux support, so it makes sense that right. now that number is going up. Yeah. 970. <laughs> and what is the number one super? It's just the 1060. 1060, yeah, followed by oh, 1050. Hold, 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 hold the 1060. <laughs> yeah. That, for, for a while, that was, that was your bang for your buck card. But, hey, man. Yeah, no, the, the RX 480 actually being in first place on Linux is surprising. But it's it's silly cheap now. Oh yeah, it is. It is. So, I got so, the five seventy so, so for seventy five pounds. So yeah, yeah. I, th I think I think I saw five ninety for like under one hundred and fifty Canadian. So like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> dude, that is definitely a thing. And hey, man, we hitting the like one percent, man. Oh yeah, but you're sorry about taking away rocket log. Yeah. Rock, still, rocket logs, man. Regular. I rocket log. Yes, <laughs> where, where you play as a rocket powered Abraham Lincoln. This is where both of these yahoos just locked in a guarantee that I'm going to give them shite for everything they screw up for the rest of the episode. <laughs> I mean, you 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 already started, so it is it is uh, what it first is. First blood has been drawn. Would you like to submit a review though? Three hundred percent more reviews. Ooh, yeah, we're talking about it. Uh, Steam is like, yo, man. Since the library update, we've noticed a lot of people are reviewing the games because would you like to review this game? Mm, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Would you like to review it now? And it's like, how about now? Hey, look, we've noticed you've played this game again. Would you like to update a review? How about a review? <laughs> Leave me alone, Steam. Jeez. At least it's not clippy. Yet. Yeah, soon. <laughs> Dude. It's going to be GLaDOS. Uh, but, I mean, since the library update, yeah, because that's, that's something that you commonly see. If you have not reviewed the game, it is very clear of, like, would you like to review this game or would you like to revise your... So, yeah, 300 tracks, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's like, you know, people on YouTube saying, like and subscribe this video. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's, yeah, a lot of people just they're doing their own thing they're playing the game or they're watching the video and they're not really thinking it's like oh yeah there's a like button there's a subscribe button or there's a way for us to leave reviews so reminding people works hmm. go figure oh yeah call, call to actions are like a super powerful um super powerful motivator or yeah. motivator for action <laughs> if you, if you I just don't, ask I people don't even to do know where to go with that one <laughs> that tracks hey man we get a new version of proton out we do version five it's yeah they, they they finally did it uh it took about a well it took about two weeks since the actual release of uh, we got a little bit of a break because we got a proton ge uh, came out bit. last week yeah i was i was actually uh, i was actually and... surprised uh do you, do you think they're actually pulling from gloria segral no no I mean, I, I'm sure they appreciate Glorious Egg Roll's, like, uh, initiative in taking the brunt of uh, getting everything done, but, eh. Maybe. Mm. I, 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 I uh, mean, they were, they were silent partners in DXVK for the longest time, so. Right. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> but, yeah, no, with Proton 5, it's basically the wine version that gets... Um, the base wine uh, gets updated to 5.0, so you just get the proton treatment on top of all of that. Uh, the big, big change is D9 VIX is now on by default, so all of those um, DirectX 9 games like your first edition Skyrims and your Dragon's Dogma and your Fallout 3s, all of those are now 
using D9VK if you launch them with Proton. Uh, the change in binaries, because when uh, Wine 5.0 released, uh, something that they did, they changed the way that binaries are, are compiled, so they uh, are registered yeah, the, the, as portable gee. executables. Yes. They they they, yes. uh, they actually took that from Proton because they were doing that beforehand. Um, Proton started doing this, but now that um, now that Wine has adopted this, Proton doesn't have to mm -hmm. do this separately. Um, yeah, that's part of the three hundred and something patches that they dropped. I, I love all this fluff. The only thing of any matter in this entire release that everyone uh, you can now play the goddamn Batman. Oh uh, yes, Batman. because it means that De Nouveau actually works with more games now. It does work with some games. There's a gang of like games that you know would kind of work with work stretching it with the goddamn batman however uh, if you do want to play with it take it it does launch disable the async you'll get it slightly better but don't crouch because if you crouch you crash uh there's a thread going on right now over at github about this which i encountered last night apparently dunevo uh has a thing where you know if it detects tampering or maybe a pirated copy it disables your ability to crouch in the game or use the bat, bat claw. So mm. this Proton version kind of gets around it. Like it almost tricks it, but not quite. So when you cr mm. crouch, it just locks and you get a little error message. It's like, LOL, joke. And so we got to wait you, you, you for an update. You joker, Jif. Mm. Yeah. Not fun. The, yeah, no the, red uh, scorpion, though. I was a little sad about that. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> boo! Boo! Warner Brothers. Micro boo. Team. <laughs> uh, they uh, two a uh, couple other things that they're introducing with uh, Proton 5.0. Uh, it's going to start reporting itself as Windows 10 now because Windows 7 is deprecated. <laughs> um, so it's going to try and do that for most games to improve compatibility. Also, uh, one interesting note from the release notes is they call out the uh, Wine multi monitor support, mm -hmm. saying this mm -hmm. is this is the start. We're going to start focusing on this. So I'm curious to see what Valve will come up with in terms of like actual multi monitor support for Wine, because this will very likely be upstreamed into the main product as well. This is true. And I'm yeah, being able to spend your game across like three monitors. A lot of people like that. I wouldn't mind that. No, I wouldn't mind a reliable way just for like Linux native games to like, hey, Valve, open it on this monitor and play game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's work on that first. Maybe add that to the Steam Play uh, like settings screen. Then just, we can throw yeah, it up and look monitor. at all the awesomeness <laughs> through our new HUD. No, I mean, I can. You two can't, apparently. Uh, Mango has a uh, version 1, 0.1.0. Uh, it's basically a Vulkan uh, performance hub. It, HUD. It'll uh, measure CPU usage, GPU usage, uh, DXVK version, frame uh, frames per second, and frame timing. And uh, it has it has a handy little build script. On Fedora, at least, it sorted all the missing dependencies. Uh, and it worked. I, I launched um, Serious Sam Fusion. It shows up in the little corner once you enable the environment variable, and yeah, it's pretty slick. Um, it installs. It just don't work. <laughs> yeah, uh, over here I try to build it, uh, but it is, well, on 1804, uh, there are no Vulkan validation layers. Uh, mm -hmm. The dev file that includes that is not available for 1804. Uh, bomb, bomb. It's available on 1910, I think. Uh, and so I guess I'm waiting for the 2004 update for Neon. Hmm. But on El Cheapo, it does build and it does install. And I, I think I started, what was it? Uh, some Proton game, Void Bastards. Um, and it showed up, so that works. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, I installed it on Debian 10.3 and... Uh, yeah, it didn't work so like did, did it just like eat shit or did the, the hud not show up like just that didn't show up mm. it's like okay well uh maybe in the future we'll play a thing yeah but... no fedora 31 it works <laughs> devil may cry oh yeah speaking of de uh this is uh very good to hear because yes de is one of those things that uh can not always, but sometimes it can uh, prevent you from playing a game on Linux with Proton. But with Devil May Cry 5, that was not necessarily the issue with it. The issue was actually the Media Foundation ones. But they did a good, and now that the game is out and everyone who was going to buy it has bought it. Mm -hmm. And then refunded it, if they're me. Uh, <laughs> they have now decided to remove De Nouveau. Mm -hmm. So... That's not a concern anymore, and apparently it was the Nuvo with uh, the five different PC within a day machine activation limits. 
So if you try that, yeah. <laughs> I ran all into that. I couldn't. I, the day I bought the game, I had to wait 24 hours to try to install it some more. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I, I was just going to say, it's, this is just the int, the Denuvo renew, removal is just in time because Proton 5 came out and it has the Denuvo uh, handy dandy handling. Well, so. Outside of that, I didn't have a problem with it. But, you know, mm. when you see the Denuvo uh, getting removed, that's usually because the licensing to renew it expired. It's yeah. coming up and they're like, yeah. We, yeah, we we're not we, paying we you made more the, money. Goodbye. No. <laughs> we, we made the bulk of our money. Now it's it's entered that point in the game's life cycle where now we're starting to see like mid double digits uh, discounts on the Steam sales, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Then, like, goodbye, <laughs> children. Uh, we do have one new game. This graphical juggernaut. Oh. <laughs> oh. Knock get, out get, Daddy. Daddy, please, no. Come on, man. Laser bear. Beavers. Um, Knockout Daddy is an action <laughs> speedrun game where you go through levels as fast as possible, killing all of the enemies in each. As the game go, uh, gets harder and harder, you can punch, kick, smash, and pick up enemies. Laser badgers. Laser badgers, <laughs> baby. I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm getting some hardcore Newgrounds early 2000s. Oh, yeah. man, I saw this, this and I was flash. like, hey, man, I remember being an edgy-ass teenager. Thankfully, there was no way for me to mass market my artistic creations online. Laser well, Beaver, little op though. I did play it. Why did I play it? Then did you spend money on this app stuff? No, it's free to play. You, uh, well, well, that's the thing though. One ninety nine Canadian at least will get you the pay to win pack, which gives you extra lives, more uh, health, and a fancy fucking sombrero too. <laughs> nice. Um, at least they're not being coy about it. <laughs> you do not need an operating system to play this. Yeah, you just need a web browser because it's done in Flash, right? <laughs> <laughs> Quick insult. Do not insult Flash like that. Don't man. don't insult this game, man. Flash is dead. We killed uh -huh. it. <laughs> All right, coming up next. When do we wait, get our 250,000? Wait, wait. Uh, best what? review. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, as Daddy died in the Laser Beaver War of 2019. Yep. His yep. life was never the same. After. Coming up next. <laughs> Uh, we, got, we got some new NVIDIA drivers. Uh, System76 is a brand new Thelio for you. And, 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 and. Laser and, Beavers. We still don't have $250,000 from Epic. Come on, guys. <sighs> Come on, Tim. Pay up. Pay up. The amount of publicity we've given them. Not good publicity, mine, but <laughs> there's no such thing as bad. There's no such thing as bad publicity, Pedro. And you know what? As long Each and as every week, are... we do our best to fight against that thing. <laughs> We're not going to stop until we pull it off. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you'd like to play the home game, you can bang suggest show titles during the segments and. Vote on them after the fact over at vote.linuxgamecast.com. Currently, um, we have laser... All right, <laughs> no votes a, have been cast. Boop. <laughs> laser beavers. You crouch, you crash. Drunken high karaoke. All coming in. Countdown timer has started. Boom. Yeah, man, we were in the uh, after shows and on Wednesday and some dude like rolled in and he's like, so what do you, what's this? What's this? Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, well, I obviously can't uh, read good and do other stuff good either. Do you guys just sit here and talk smack? What's this about? <laughs> yes. Yes, we do. <laughs> on a good day. I mean. We used to play Rocket Leagues, but once mm -hmm. that got next from Linux, we don't have anything to do now. Mm -hmm. I think we'll do some Jackbox and after shows in tonight. Ah. That'd be easy to do. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. What do you think? You want to get like on a regular of uh, like doing love for bread or? Uh, okay, so. That's not a yes. Le <laughs> le so le Left for Dead, Serious Sam. And I think Portal 2, co well, I guess not Portal 2. No, no, it's got, see, I like Left 4 Dead because it, we can do team on team. Mm -hmm. As opposed I mean, for uh, Serious Sam's just like, oh, everyone run around and just shoot shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, because uh, there's there's a lot of, like, community content for Left 4 Dead 2, so we can crack mm -hmm. into that. Um. Uh, 
And see, Scott likes Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead's good. I, I'm totally okay with that or um, CSGO. The, grip. Uh, we can yeah. simply some more grip. I like grip. See, I also like golf with friends. <laughs> I also don't mind golf with friends. Yeah, it's kind of fun when we get a bunch of people played, but we only play that every now and then when Jordan feels like spectating. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, what else? Steam, open. It's like yeah, something that would target the casual audience now that we don't have rocket cars. Uh, yeah, I think um, golf with your friends is still the best option. <laughs> we didn't like golf with friends with like teams. Uh, we... <laughs> Well, like, we we we, like we half try to get good at like we get uh, to play the hole, and somebody gets to play the flag. We 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 could try to get good at uh, guns of Icarus. We're almost at the point where I have the technology to like multi cam do that thing now. Uh, the problem is, is like if I'm, is like capturing that. Like playing is fun, but no one would want to watch that. It's either I am just looking yeah. straight ahead. Or I'm just running around, like, hitting an engine with a wrench. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Charlie Murder. Two player. Wait, four player. That's four, four player. Uh, yeah, so I four. guess that's the same with uh, Chicken Horse. If you play enough Chicken Horse by yourself, you can unlock more characters. Oh, that was Jordan. Okay, I had to mute. Yeah. Forget what was. <laughs> hmm. We could definitely do Tux Cart. Yeah, yeah. Tux Cart's not too bad. Um. If the game was actually on Linux and not um, a drop-in port, that would be nice. I don't know what move or die is. This is like an ultimatum. We we could we could try doing uh, Scriblio. That's actually pretty fun. What's that? And support. It's a Pictionary. It kind of falls into the like the uh, Jackbox. Yeah. 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 Oh, we oh we we still got to do Windows Phone trivia. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Two thousand two, man. You didn't start playing it till late. <laughs> I didn't play it till two thousand five. <laughs> <laughs> Well, pl see, playing playing it is a bit of a stretch, right? Because, like, I was aware of it. I went into it a couple times to, like, poke around at it, but I, like, never seriously played Super Tux Kart until, like... What was? Well, that was always the one in the, like, hey, look, it's a 3D kind of game. We didn't much in the way of games in these days. And uh, what was it, the uh, Tux, where you slide down uh, the... Oh, Super Tux? No, not Super no. Tux. No. Um, um, damn it. Something super tuck slalom. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. It's that yes, game. Yes, it's the one where you play as <laughs> tux and you're sliding mm -hmm. down a, like a ski track. Yeah. Tux <laughs> racer. Yes. Tux yes. Racer. <laughs> All right. I got four minutes. I'm going to make another cup of nice warm tea. Nice warm piss. Yes. Yes. No, the game for me, when I started using Linux in 2005 on. A really old uh, Acer Aspire 1692. The game I played the most was uh, Neverwinter Nights. I think honestly, I played a lot of Neverwinter Nights. <laughs> pre, pre Steam, the game I spent the most time under Linux playing 
Genuinely rogue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it was definitely never Winter Nights for me. It's like, all-time favorite Linux game, never Winter Nights. <laughs> And then, Wine got to the point where I could play Fallout 2 in Wine. So I played a lot of Fallout 2. <laughs> extreme Tux Racer. It's not extreme because the content's extreme, it's extreme because of Tux's political views. Oh, you actually got, uh, you actually got them, Mir. Nice. <laughs> yeah, no, for uh, 40 bucks, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, yes, Salty. I have a Nintendo Switch. I got a PlayStation 2 and I got a Xbox 360 that hasn't been booted up in forever. <laughs> I have a PS4 that I still haven't given Sony money for uh, Bloodborne yet. <laughs> So it's just there. <laughs> well, you got the you got that extra fancy capture card. You should see if you can capture some PlayStation games. I cannot. Why not? It uh, attempts to show, but there's some HDMI copy protection happening. So y'all need to get yourself an HDCP stripper. <laughs> and yeah, no, the HDCP doesn't really like the uh, intensity for some reason. Again, and apparently the way to turn it the way to turn that off is really not intuitive at all there's uh like on the ps4 subreddit there's like big ass tutorial on how to do it <laughs> no no that's that's Linux territory right there. First, I want to use that one to uh, finish Bloodborne, because I am a From Software fanboy. Go figure. Uh, so yeah, I gotta I gotta finish that. Um, once that's done, yeah, no, that's that's getting Linuxed. That's getting Linuxed so hard. <laughs> oh, and uh, we know MT bought a PS4 <laughs> just to play Fallout 4 back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> Played Doom on it too. Where we had the protons. Now, do you think Doom Eternal is going to work day one on Proton, or you figure there's going to be some weird cop protection on it? Uh, I, I, I put money on, like, unless <laughs> there is some bullshit copy protection. I think it'll work out of the box. That's my feels. Now we decided to abandon uh, Vulcan after we were convinced by Microsoft that DXVK, or not DXVK, TurkTex 12 is the future. DXVK <laughs> is the future, unfortunately. <laughs> we wanted a challenge. We decided to go back to OpenGL 2 to see what we could do. <laughs> yeah, what, all, your computers you don't support Doom Glide 3, anymore? The original one. <laughs> All right, let's get into the news. News. All the news. Like, 11 news. <clears throat> zoom. 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 Zoom, zoom. There's no data, only zoom. <laughs> <laughs> I use that XP theme a lot. <clears throat> In three, two. Well, it's about that time that uh, we put the kibosh on the whole pretense of uh, this is a Linux gaming show, and instead we shill for your uh, displeasure. The I game think. is to see how much money we can <laughs> wring out of you. On it is, man. Pay for play, baby. <laughs> yeah. If you, want, if, you want, if you want to pay for some play, you can head, up, head on over to linuxgamecast.com. But if you mess over that support tab, uh, we got all sorts of fun links for you to click. Um, including uh, PayPal, Bitcoin, LibrePay. We got, we got, uh, we got a store. We got wish lists for all the childrens, especially Jill, our favorite child. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, 
And uh, we got we got our Patreon. Patreon's the best way to support us. Head on over to yeah. patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast, where you two can become a part of our legions of adoring fan. Two fifty a month gets you access to the uh, show notes, but any any level of Discord will get you, or any level of any I level mean, of guess, Discord. I mean, it is yes. Discord. Let's be honest. Uh, <laughs> any level of funding will get you access to the Discord channel. But if you want to, you know, suggest us stories or comment on stories that we, if you want to come back and watch this on, train wreck live getting made during the week, man, you can hop in our Google Docs. You can even yeah. add suggestions, comments, hints, allegations. It is kind of brilliant, man. But you also get it access is. to early vods. We roll those out, man. Sometimes, if I'm doing a like an instructional video or something like that, I'm going to put that up on Patreon. Early access, you know, get some feedback from it. Maybe I need to change some things. Maybe you got some thoughts. I can throw oh, that yeah. in there, man. Uh, game streams, we do those. If you want to skip the line, you can do that. That's absolutely a thing. Or, hey, man, you can even buy your way onto the damn show. But if you do like what we do each and every week, we get an extra hour of content for your face and your ears. Uh, Pre-pre-super shows, and that rolls out. You get a customized RSS feed through Patreon that you can use, and it is kind of brilliant almost a little bit awesome and if you want to join in live an hour beforehand 7 30 in discord audio only come get some of that nonsense it's a little bit terrifying pay, a little bit if sexy. you pay enough you can even be a part of the pre-pre super shows in as well it is no, man. no no one's done it yet you could be the first hey man we new, got a new, new person Maruno. who qualifies for it indeed long uh, time mr. Ooh, mr. <laughs> mr frosty claus frosty the claw man it's a brand new executive producer <laughs> No, Frosty was like really cool, man. He's like, yo, uh, I got done with the schools and got the new jobs. I really enjoyed you, uh, weirdos. And I like to listen to you guys in school, so I hope you have a little extra. <laughs> and then, then he screwed up because he's like, yo, if you ever need like any brackets or 3D stuff printed, let me know. Oh, no. You're going to regret that. We're, we're going to have an army of Franks, you guys. It's going to be an army. brilliant. It is. Uh, we, 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 we got a store too. If you want to, you know, garb yourself in LGC regalia, we got our faces on a t shirt. We got the weekly daily Wednesday. If you want, if you want to become a member of our army of Franks, you can get a Francophile shirt. Or if you want Franks. people, or if you, if you want people to use you, you can get a lonely penguin t shirt for you or your loved you ones. You need to pick out one because we're going to be going to scale and tell me which one you want. I'll send it to you. I want the, I want the use me one. Give me, give me the penguin. Can do. Yeah. Pink. Sure, two X, right. two two X or bigger. That's that's what my size is. Let's make it happen. All it's, right, it's gonna it's gonna be like a it's gonna be a child small. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna have to wear it over my face. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. It'll match the yoga pants, guaranteed. Yeah. Let's get into the news nonsense, starting Indeed. with Nvidia. Yep, it is a very much a LGC news uh, segment because NVIDIA's put out new drivers. And uh, with this one, uh, the the thing that jumped out at me, uh, this is version uh, 440.59. And yeah, the one that jumped out at me was uh, edit a default file name. Can I, can I ask this a question, configuration Pedro? file. Hmm? Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. It's ray tracing one word or two. Yes. Uh, if you're talking about the technology, it's one. If you're talking about tracing rays, then it's two. Because I, uh, I'm but... look, looking at this right here, it, it says RTX is on ray space tracing is here. <laughs> okay, so they're not, they're calling the ray tracing technology <laughs> RTX. It, so it leads I me guess... to believe that there's like a eh. Gary tracing, maybe a Frank's tracing. <laughs> R R Raymond S. Tracing. I guess to differentiate yeah. between ray tracing and path tracing, M but no, maybe the they're differentiating between like ray tracing if you're if you're talking about Star Wars protagonists. Uh, cancer. Um, no, the one that jumped out at me was they added a default file name when saving the display configuration file in NVIDIA settings to, uh, if an existing configuration file is not detected. You know, when you try and save the configuration and it just shows you an empty blank box. That took how many decades to fix NVIDIA? Well, the, the, the other Two. thing they added... <laughs> they, they, uh, they, they also rolled in the Prime Sync and DXVK fix from the Vulcan drivers, the fancy, fancy Vulcan drivers that we talked about a couple weeks ago. And apparently there's a crash that they fixed in X where if you would define more than one screen per GPU, X can eat shit. I don't know. I've, I think I've done that before. And like I haven't had any crashes, so maybe hmm. maybe this is a new thing that has emerged 
over the course of their driver development? I have no idea. That could be a thing. Oh, we now have DisplayPort multi-stream. I'm not 100% what that is, but we have it. And you will need Kernel 5.5 or newer in order to take advantage of it. Mm. Maybe I'll accidentally take advantage of it and it'll be sexy. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's what that does. All like, right. Oh, do that again. <laughs> Maybe it'll help you with your ray tracing. Mm, ray tracing. tracing. That's what ray trace is like. He's an amoeba. <laughs> Uh, oh, you're such a ray tracist. NVIDIA's cloud gaming service, GeForce Now, is out shamelessly. Mm, that's Shame. right. You, ding, 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 ding. You naughty <laughs> service. Uh, yeah, uh, you just can't get it on Linux. It's not available for all the regions across the globe. And worse, GeForce Now does not support Linux because GeForce Now is not open for all. Hashtag re. Nope. Um, yeah, uh, get stuffed. Weirdos. Get some, get some uh, Windows. Some well, Android. Some Windows or Android. Or an NVIDIA Shield, because we're still pretending that's not Android. We're NVIDIA. <laughs> NVIDIA. Uh, 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 which Shield are you talking about again? You know Shield. Yeah, the Shield. Okay. Yeah. It's it's the one with Agent Coulson. Yeah. Yeah, because I tried it back in the day on the Shield, not that Shield, you know, the previous Shield. Not the Shield before that, uh, you know, the middle Shield. Uh, and um, it wasn't great uh you know those videos and those gifs of like the uh stadia um input lag yeah that that was the level of experience i had on the shield um with the shield controller that that was um that was my experience so maybe it's gotten so, better now because everyone um that is on windows is saying it's like oh maybe it's good now it's well better. so th this, this is supposed to be like in the browser you're supposed to be able to point your browser to the geforce now service and play your games mm -hmm. now i'm i'm gonna say it all most most of the guts of all modern browsers are shared amongst their various binaries for different os's but given given the uh startup screen there it looks like you actually kind of need a plugin for your browser so my my i'm hazarding a guess that this just is copy protection stuff that they can be asked to implement under linux it could be i definitely got the sads advantage stadia stadia worked um like in 2018 when i was beta testing it and um, it's there it's the thing uh, google hasn't remembered that they released it so they haven't killed it yet it's got that going for it. <laughs> yep. um, the it's really a damn shame by all accounts. Everyone I've heard talking about uh, GeForce Now that has been in the closed beta, like it's pretty damn good. All things considered, because it's able to do things like Stadia, no resolution options or anything. It's like, hey, look, we can kind of do 4K at 30. Stadia, uh, but uh, GeForce Now is more focused on like, hey, would you like 1080p 60? It's like, yes, like a, a real boy. Mm. I mean, I mean, and I think RTX. Are, you can get Ooh. RTX on some 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 Raymond tracing. You can trace Ray. <laughs> yeah. I, I, you got you got to remember here. Nvidia doesn't love Linux. Nvidia doesn't hate Linux. They just see it as a market to sell shit to. Mm -hmm. And you got to remember that at least on Linux, most of that market is enterprise and not Linux gamers. That's who are that's who are buying those cards and droves. So they'll they'll support they'll support the Vulcans. They'll support the OpenGLs. But you know, you want if you want if you want them games. Will they support the bandwidth needed to use it without going over usage gaps? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe streaming's a bad idea and you just want to build yourself a nice little box in order to play your games. Well, System76 has got the new hotness, the 3990X. That's starting at 3,798 or question mark. Man, we're about to fuck up that Whoa. ore, man. What can 64 cores do for you then? Dude, all kind of things, man. Your desktop has full command over your CPU. And they, listen, man, look at that. You you can apply a circular motion in 44 seconds, Jordan. So shut your whore mouth. I mean, I can do that with uh, enough whiskey. I can do so. that. Yeah, you can do that faster in GIMP. <laughs> you, you can do that faster with the trip to the liquor store. Can you I'm compile just saying. the curve in 24 seconds? Huh? Yes, what uh, okay, I thought. Miss, not. That's Miss what I thought. Can. <laughs> Render a blender scene in 76 seconds. Classroom. That's a, that's a Dr. Seussism, if ever. Can you render Do, a blender? Maybe. <laughs> hey, man, this has got their Atari case. I know they hate it when I call it that, but that's what it is. Uh, Wood. Bunch of options. We can design and buy. I, I took the Pepsi challenge. You tried it. I did. And I, I didn't go crazy. I didn't do the like, oh, let's just max out everything and get that stupid price that no one would ever actually configure. I did a realistic, okay, I was like, yo, if I was going to get a System 76 workstation, 
for the nonsense that we do here, which technically, I mean, it's like real stuff. Um, using the 64 core, I maxed out at a measly 7,894 wet stinky American caches, which to my shock, I was like, that's really not bad at all. If you're thinking about a workstation, what did we end up yeah. with that? 32 gigs of RAM and a 2070, which, you know, along with the 64 core thread wrapper, that's not bad. However, you have an option for GPU one followed by GPU two. I was like, hmm, okay. Well, GPU one, uh, give me a 2060 super and a 2070. He's like, no. And I was like, okay, well, what if I get a 2070? Can I get a 2060? No. Um, what, what, what can I do if I get a 2060? You can get a 2080 or a 2080 TI. He's like, well, that's unnecessary. What about a 2070? He's like, a 2080, 2080 TI. Uh, what about like the super 2080 thing? And he's like, no refunds on that. I was like, okay, never mind. This is legitimately an issue. You'll need to fix that. System 76, call me. Because um, if you're building an editing box, especially for something like you would use a box like this for, it's called DaVinci Resolve. And mm -hmm. what you want in an ideal configuration, which this one's not there yet, and that's why I have a 2060 on the wish list, 2060 Super, hint, hint, is a <laughs> low power primary display card followed by a dedicated one for rendering, uh, just a big brain's chungus with a lot of memory RAM and a lot of power that's only going to be used when you're rendering. Blender, same thing. You can take advantage of two. You don't need NVLink or anything like that. That's literally a checkbox option in DaVinci Resolve. It's like, yo, would you like this perfectly same configuration that most people use? Yes, I would. You're missing sales on people setting up uh, systems that by limiting them to, if you're going to get a 2060, you're going to get a 2080. We get a 2060, we get a 2070. I, yeah, I, I was, went, even Dell, even Dell actually um, went, it's like, oh, when I called them out on uh, Linux Weekly Daily Wednesdays, they went, yeah, no, that's not supposed to happen. So they went back and they fixed the whole being able to pick the i7 XPS 13 with the 1080p screen. Mm -hmm. Instead of the moment you picked the 1080p screen, you were capped at the i5. Was, so I... I, I, I went I went through the I went through the purchasing thing as well because I figured I'm gonna build an AMD system because mm -hmm. why the fuck not I want I want I want to see how much that'll set me back that was only about six grand mm. um for for the dual 5700 XTs um which I mean it's not the worst I get, so here and he, and here's the thing like all all of us are stifling down that urge to say well if you just build your system it's gonna mm -hmm. be a lot cheaper but a lot of people don't want to go through it and it's good to see that we have vendors who you don't have to worry about going through it. more importantly you get a warranty for this and yeah you get support you, you, you get support you can be like ring that's the thing. ring ring <laughs> shit's not working and that's definitely you. something i'd like to see from system 76 is like a work they would have to do a freeze on pop os for like a workstation build or it's not so much a moving target like it would be pretty easy i could sit back and like set up like a da vinci like here's a configuration for that you know what send me two and i'll Get, send one back like that because if you just send me one, I'm gonna keep it. Um, but I, I would like to see a configuration like that for a thread ripper system that you just get like a turnkey multimedia solution that was uh configured. But then again, that probably be a bad idea because they, you'd have to offer some type of support for it on top of everything else. Forget I said anything. Moving on, Dex fix. Oh, yeah. 154, baby. Bug fixes and improvements. Uh, is it going to melt your mind? Is it going to melt your face? Maybe because Anno 1701 has been fixed with incorrect texture filtering. And The Witcher, not two, not three, but one. Witcher got clouds, baby. Throw a cloud to your Witcher. Forgotten Realms, Demon Stone, you know, that um, Forgotten Realms game that most people like to pretend didn't exist because didn't. it's what the f literally what the, fuck are you the what the hell are you talking about? That game was great. Like it straight up was. It yeah, was the no, same engine. it was. It, it was the same engine from Return of the King, which was a great yep. brawler. Demon Stone <laughs> is a great brawler. I love the fuck out of that game. It is. I'm glad that it's getting some support with the newest version of Dexfix. But we are in the minority, Jordan, because if you actually look at reviews for that game, they're very meh. I've never <laughs> heard of the game, but <laughs> the fact that the both of you like it makes me. I'm, I'm going to be contrarian. It's like, yeah, I'm never going to play it now. You already hate it. Yes. No, that, yeah. that's actually a very fun game. I The first time I played it was actually on the PS2. Patrick Stewart's in it. it yeah. It, it was a very fun game to play. I I, I, I really enjoyed Demon's Stone. It was a solid-ass yep. brawler. <laughs> yeah. So that's good news. But do you think we'll be able to play... When No, more importantly, here's the better question. When do you think we'll be able to enjoy... Some, if not all, of this goodness on Wayland. 
you can already enjoy uh, Proton on Wayland. Most everything works just fine. But, not everything. And to try and combat that, I guess, uh, you have the Wine Wayland project, which is, um, well, it allows for DX9 slash DX11 and Vulcan games using a pure Wayland and Wine slash DXVK. And currently, it's very limited to, um, let's say, oh, hey, Arch they're, Linux they're, they're or Manjaro, yeah. AMD GPU with Vulcan support, uh, Mesa 19.3 or later with Wayland, uh, Vulcan, and EGL support. Yep. Um, Weston based compositor, uh huh, or WL roots. SDL and F audio. Kind of need those if you're going to play any games on Wayland. Uh, because if you're going to be guess fancy, what? maybe. I mean, no, no, no. There are no games that okay. uh, support Wayland natively unless they have SDL. Um, and E sync or F sync support. I guess those would be. Uh, optional but yeah no it you're limited to amd gpus on arch or manjaro which is arch you said or manjaro. Better, um, <laughs> you know if you really want to get your dx9 dx11 vulcan games on uh, pure wayland the only downside you have to use wayland but oh and a couple other small issues uh, you're going to encounter no controller support no ggi app support launchers are not going to work open jail support's not going to be there no custom cursors but hey it's a start and with some luck wayland will actually do something this decade i got a feel that this this decade we're gonna get some traction so here, here's the thing i brought i brought this up forever ago but like especially for a lot of the older unity ghetto games mm -hmm. wine is really going to be the only way you can like play these games reasonably under wayland if you don't want to go through x wayland mm -hmm. so i'm glad yep. someone is actually putting in the legwork because that's going to be huge for game preservation under linux especially for a lot of like yeah no no one is going to go back and update those old unity 3 no. Unity 4 titles no those will run on x and that's it there's no stl in there for your mama you're gonna have to play them on wine if you want a wayland only system and i genuinely feel bad for you know Wayland, Wayland, like, you know, snap packages, flat packs and all that, they're competing against something, the worst opponent in the world, which is good enough. We have X. X is good I, enough. I, I also kind of want to throw the blame at Canonical because for a good, like, four years there, they're like, no, we're, we're going we're gonna to split development efforts for Mirror, this thing that we abandoned. I, I, I genuinely believe that Wayland probably would have gotten a lot more traction if there wasn't sort of this limbo, will they, won't they thing introduced by the Mirror Display server. How long did Fedora take to? Uh, mm -hmm. say it's the years? default on the workstation now. Yeah, the, uh, they, 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 they changed they, they, that they were, in 27? They were, they were shipping it as an option since, I believe, Fedora 17. How long has it been yeah. an option with uh, Ubuntu? Mirror. No, that's not what I asked. How long has it been an option with Ubuntu? Uh, a while. Uh, it's just both sides of the story. All right, uh, go to. <laughs> there's there's no both sides. Uh, anyways, anyways, enlightened centrism aside. Um, yeah, the uh, Epic Mega Grant was awarded to the Godot Project. They're getting about two hundred and fifty thousand G's. Uh, so no, it's really. Oh my God! They have sold out. Tim Sweeney's they eating the world. They really, they really have. Um, so yeah, Tim, I've uh, heard of it. Tim Sweeney eats planets. It's he's basically Unicron. You're right. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're, they they got it for uh, graphical development. Uh, so they're going to be improving their renderer. They're going to also be improving GD Script um, as well. Uh, so good on good on them for that. There's a lot of there's a lot of tinfoil hat stuff going mm -hmm. on in, in in the Reddit's nope. about why, uh -huh. why this is. I mean, you 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 could just say like a rising tide raises all ships. But there, there. Then you you brought up the the. That's a politer theory. way uh, than saying some <laughs> ignorant motherfucker is going to talk about shit they don't know anything about. Oh yeah, like how how they're uh, how what how they're uh, how they're doing this to essentially you don't put, understand put a stop our unity Jordan, developments. Th this is all <laughs> only to attack unity. Yes. Oh, I, oh, I I don't I don't doubt for a second that there's some like eight dimensional chess going on. This this was definitely a calculated. I don't think effort. Sweeney can count that high. Well, I mean, Sweeney doesn't have to count that high as business analyst. And I mean yeah, he doesn't eight. have to. He just pays someone to do it for yeah. him. But, mm -hmm. but I mean, I mean, like, here's the thing, though. This, this, this will, Don't this will. I, I, I would say my, 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 
good faith reasoning for this would probably be they want to accelerate development of high, highly wanted features so that the developers can start churning out more games that Epic can then make exclusives to the Epic Store. They can sell that, them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah. I mean, they, 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 they don't care if you're using Unreal because they well, get a cut for Unreal. They'll get, they already made their money if it's going to be on the Epic Store. Tencent made sure of that. One of the things I want to throw in is to <sighs> Epic Unreal Engine is not in competition with Unity. It's not. No. Just that, 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 that's two different levels of dev. And same with yeah. Godot. Godot is closer to Unity. It's something that you're going to pick up to learn with mm -hmm. so hey man they got the cash that's cool 250,000 bits of cheddar can go a long way and that's fantastic it's an open source project sky's not falling and uh <laughs> yay yeah i mean yeah, it's, 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 it's 250 250k less from the exclusive fund so right. that's okay by me a, a literal <laughs> a literal drop in the bucket pedro it's plan it's plans within plans young atreides but i mean y'all should still sub to their patreon because community support for godot mm -hmm. is a good thing yes all right Uzo. Uh, that's an alcohol yeah. drink isn't it Uzo? Uzo? The, uzo yes uzo yeah Uzo, I mean, yes. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of the devs were drunk on Uzo when they were writing this. <laughs> Yuzu, the uh, the Nintendo Switch emulator, aka Ven's best chance for not having to buy a Wii U, um, is uh, they they have a new feature release uh, that's experimental. It's Vulcan. Uh, we talked about this a little bit more, but now it's available for your download and perusal. Uh, so the the is blog Link post goes, shirtless. Yes, yes, that's you spent, you spent, hot. Mm. You you spend a you can spend a good chunk of the intro to that game just completely naked. It's great. It's also fun when he kicks the the chests when he's not wearing boots and he breaks his foot and he just hops around in pain. Mm. It's pretty good. <laughs> um, but anyways, uh, it's always much much like RPCS three or the Dolphin Project. These guys have decided to like make a little blog blog post explaining some of the the challenges and stuff they had to overcome in order to implement um. Vulcan, uh, Vulcan render for a Nintendo Switch emulator, and as it turns out, most of the uh, most of the Nintendo Switch games out there are not using uh, NVN. They're mostly using OpenGL, and the thing about OpenGL and Nvidia is Nvidia does some spooky <laughs> hardware shit for OpenGL to improve performance, uh, and a lot of games apparently are just taking advantage of the fact that the Nvidia hardware software stack will just do shit for you. Uh, which presents a bit of a problem when you're trying to rebuild that behavior in Vulkan because then you don't have the hardware routines to automatically say like, oh, you're trying to do this? Well, let me just uh, speed that along through for you. So you're going to have some mm -hmm. problems. They basically say this, this is not this is not a cure-all. When, if, if, they, if they start putting out Nintendo Switch games that are using Vulkan, this will be, you'll, you'll lose a lot of the uh, overhead that you have to generate for here. They talk about how they had to make a new shader compiler um, to uh, spit out both, both Spur V and uh, GLSL, which is kind of interesting. You can read all this because links in the in the show notes. Um, but yeah, mm. they even give a little. Uh, oh, appa apparently uh, Bayonetta uses some features that are uh, sped up via OpenGL <laughs> hardware acceleration that they had to yeah. go through some problems to re <laughs> reproduce under Vulcan. Bayonetta's just broke broken all the emulation um, outside of uh, the Windows only EMU. Uh, what's it called? Uh, the, CMU? The CMU. CMU. Yeah, the Wii U one. Which does work with Vulcan under Wine, but I was like, that's too many steps and it's not terribly performant. That's good news, but that's not the only Vulcan uh, bits we have for this week. Waka waka. No, it is not. Uh, this one is uh, called Chew Man. It's Chew Man Bless Vulcan. You. Yes, it's a 3D Pac-Man style game written in C++ Chew Man sounds using like a Vulcan Marvel SDK though, and it? SDL. At least it uses SDL, so I'll give him that. But yeah, it is 3D, um, not Pac-Man for legal reasons. Mm -hmm. And you, well, you control Chew Man and <laughs> you go around eating coins. I guess those are coins. Not uh, coins. Uh, so apparently they're the souls of the dead because Chew Man is a demon. Oh. <laughs> okay. Is All he right. single? <laughs> <laughs> I, no, no, because there's there's Mrs. Chew Man, uh, but the, their their relationship is on the rocks from what uh, I hear. Vulcan rendering, yes, animation is. from loaded 3D <laughs> assets, water rendering, instancing, yes, overlays and GUI rendering. Those are important in a game. Um, didn't, you, didn't you try to build it? Nope. Uh, no, 
I did. I didn't. So Not I, even a little I bit. I cloned the Git, but yeah, I, I didn't try. <laughs> so I, I, I took a crack at it. It requires something called uh, CPPFS, which is a C++ library for accessing file system contents. Uh, it's not provided by Fedora, and it doesn't seem to want to build on my box. Mm. So uh, I can't build <laughs> Chumen, and I can't report on it. I was actually going to try it out with uh, with the Mango HUD, but uh, yeah, I no. build. I compiled like a material painter, and I had to install Node.js earlier this week. I'm kind of built out. I'm like, mm. <laughs> and, no, and, and, don't worry. I'm sure there, there's a PPA for you. Yeah, no. If this requires the Vulkan validation layers, that I can't build it either. <laughs> womp, womp womp womp. A PPA for Debian. I wonder if they do have PPAs. I mean, it's it's effectively the same. You can. Right? Oh yeah, I guess I could. I don't hate myself that much. Um, <laughs> it, there's it, just it, a couple called, packages you it, need it, to it's install. It's called the DDA. Dance, dance. <laughs> ah! It's called Linux gaming. Getting to know lupus. The ultimate Linux game launcher. Yes, it is the ultimate. Period. No question about it. There is no competition for it, except for like those other two projects. I, yeah, that, that that aren't doing as much as uh, Lupus is. Yeah, but uh, the new egg actually retweeted this uh, earlier today, so we included it in the show notes. Mm -hmm. it's I think handy this dandy. is a new egg official website. Yeah, <laughs> but as I was saying, it's a it's a handy dandy guide to getting started on our favorite baguette and blunt fueled gaming platform, Lutris. Uh, one one thing it does do in here, which uh, I think deserves some highlighting and some credit, is it shows off some of the GOG integration and how to set that up. Oh, oh, what's that? That's, that's a lovely shade of purple, those folks uh, waiting for a Linux Galaxy client have turned. Uh, but yeah, no, Lutris is actually really easy to get set up. If you're using uh, the Lutris website, um, you can just click to add uh, games. If you search through, if they have a Lutris runner for them, uh, it'll pop up a wizard that'll run you through it. It's actually pretty handy. That's how I got uh, the Witcher th my copy of The Witcher 3, the GOG one, uh, running under the Linuxes. And it's pretty painless. I still say it's one of the, if the game is not on Steam and it's not actively supported by Proton, Lutri Lutris is a uh, very good um, intermediary to get your games up and running. The Plus emulator supports, supports the really good too. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. I'll, I'll, although now, 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 <laughs> now, now that Steam has RetroArch, Strider, Strider, you're going to have to come up with some answer to that. You can do that well, right after you finish implementing Dark Mode. <laughs> This, this the, is GTK, uh, homie. We don't need those UI. thinking dark mode. Yes. <laughs> dark mode. No, 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 yeah, no, no, uh, no, The no, moment that retro arch, the moment retro arch drops on Steam, it's like, there goes my use for Lutris. Mm. <laughs> uh, there, there, there's still other stuff, like um, games that have open source engines. That, I, I, uh, listen, man, you awesome. can use currently, right now, as of time of recording, you can crouch in Batman Arkham Knight using Lutris. Where's your god now? That's what I thought. Dead. Mm. Because God is dead. <laughs> Com right. Coming up next, we were, throw we're throwing some chairs at Dark Hope, and maybe we can solve a puzzle or two. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, no, uh, Gamer Crate is literally just new egg with a different brand. This is new egg with some extra steps. <laughs> If you scroll all the way down the page, it's like New Egg Inc. All right, okay, cool. <laughs> so if you if you if you want to vote on some share titles, you can head on to vote.linuxgamecast.com. Laser Beavers is in the lead, and I'm inclined to agree. <laughs> Spooky robot shit. Can't vote for myself, Tim. Um, thanks, racing. My dad left my mom in <laughs> Laser Beaver. Uh, good on you, Matthew. I knew Matthew was going to stick around. He's like, they're going to talk about the meat. <laughs> I will watch Ben show. doesn't like to vote for himself until he does. Because it always ends up happening. I don't vote for the ones that I submit. You have. Oh, I will. I'm not above it, but, you know. It's all about trying, Jordan. You know, you try to be your best you. <laughs> try. <laughs> and you got to learn a little bit of flexibility, too, you know? What kind of flexibility? Can, can, I'm talking about, like, bend your ass over the kitchen counter until your legs break. Can you do that right now? What kind of kitchen counter are we talking about here? The best kind of kitchen <laughs> counter, Pedro. The best kind. No, this is just because... 
what kind of kitchen cutter would break your legs if you bent over it? A lot. Listen, I don't have the time. I don't have the time or the crayons to explain it to you, man. Do you see where like desk and shit come up to me, man? <laughs> That's all crotch level. <sighs> I mean, yeah. It's like that far below my hip, man. I'm wearing black jeans, never mind. You <laughs> can't see it. As it turns out, Pedro doesn't have any legs either. Nope. I'm a Pedro. <laughs> he, he's, he's the, like a, it is the only option we paid for. He's like uh, <laughs> Kenneth Branagh's character from the Wild Wild West. He just has like a little spider leg thing. Dude, we yeah, can... Yeah, no, um... this desk is just above my knee too, so... <laughs> I can adjust this desk, so that's nice. But Pedro, you're a little person, so that is like a low rider desk. It's 75 centimeters off the ground, supposedly. <laughs> I wouldn't want to bang my shins in your house. <laughs> I'll bang your shins in my house. Yeah, you would. Right, right over the kitchen counter, right? <laughs> yeah. I'll, literally, my kitchen counter is about yay big, because I live in a tiny apartment, so... <laughs> Oh yeah, what's your hob like? Do you have like four burners or? Yeah. Okay. Or they they're like, they're just small. They're small Real burners. close together. Yeah. yeah. Would you rather that or just like one big ass one? I like how, I like being able Options. to have multiple things on the yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was yeah, just yeah. have at least yeah. two minimum. Yeah, because like so, sometimes shit takes longer to cook than the other, but like you get you get the one pan hot and you. Know. Uh. I'd normally I haven't just use used like more than two ever. So yeah, two. <laughs> I mean, the first thing I did with my stove when I bought it was to make pancakes directly on the surface. It was like, uh, that was fun. Oh, you have one of those. Uh, I th you have like the one of the uh, IR ones. I just got a glass top one. It's nothing fancy. Yeah. yeah. So prob probably the same as me. And I didn't even get that for that feature. I got it because I had a convection oven and then. Hmm. I was making the pizzas. I was teaching myself how to make pizzas. This one, this one also has a uh, convection. Nice. Like all, all the all the appliances are relatively new, so everything has convection here, including the blender. Put on the goggles. <laughs> including the air conditioner. Well, it, it, one would hope. <laughs> I need to go take a piss. I'll be back. Yeah, Blender's its own bit of kit. We have central heating and air now, right? Uh, this should I mean, be a very I'm, obvious yes or no type thing. Yes. Okay. I only have central heating and air. Unless you brought your AC with you. No, I sold that to my old roommate. Okay. They're like, man, this thing's real slick. It'd be a shame if it went away. I, I, listen, I left that brick on his on the table. You, cool. you didn't leave it in the room? You took it out and left it on the table. I did. You just felt like being a dick? Was it? Yep. Okay. And to answer your question, Mr. Foxdog, no, I have not made any butter yet. I haven't had an opportunity to.
une chaie. Well, no spoilers, but uh, no spoilers. that happened my butt has a spoiler and i don't need to worry about sitting on chairs because my spoiler is the chair <laughs> you know how, like uh, kangaroos will like sit on their tails it's basically that <laughs> i do want a built-in bench I mean, that's that's basically what those walkers are. They have the seats so you can just, like, turn around and sit down if you're a little too tired. <laughs> oh, yeah, the kangaroo guitar. That's the thing. What other bipedal animals are there out there that aren't like apes and kangaroos? And I guess birds. Ostriches. Bird, yeah, birds <laughs> yeah. are bipedal. <laughs> bipedal mammals. Let's go with that. That aren't apes? That uh, aren't apes. Uh, kangaroos, yes. Uh, yeah, but kangaroos. Uh, marsupials in general, I guess they count. <laughs> well, not all marsupials are bipedal. A lot of them are uh, yeah. quadrupedal. Poss possums and opossums are quadrupedal. Mm -hmm. um... <laughs> Cats could be bipedal, but they don't want to be. <laughs> Cats are just weird, man. They do, they just do stuff that don't make sense. That video is literally 17 minutes of me just fumbling. <laughs> what? It's just 17 minutes of me looking around. Oh, and I see a monster at one point. Oh, <laughs> damn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I, 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 I missed something in the game. There's, there's that elevator right at the beginning. I saved mm -hmm. and reloaded. And apparently there's a guy standing on the elevator as it goes up, but I wasn't paying attention the first time, so I missed it. It, it didn't, I, I just noticed, okay, we'll, we'll talk about it. Yeah. Let's... <laughs> Music loud, women move since kicked around since I was born. <clears throat> if you're just tuning in, yes, we're cold. Deal with it. Um, three, <laughs> two, one. Welcome back to our Bee Gees worshipping cult, aka the Chairquisition, where the accused game must survive trial by Fedora, Neon, and Debian, and then, and only then, can the question be asked. This is fun. This week, we're taking a look at Dark Hope by Broken Bunny Studios, Inc. It's done on Unity. You can pick it up for about 20 bucks. U.S. What is it? Dark Hose? Dark, dark Horse? No. Dark Hope. Dark <laughs> Hose. Puzzle. Dark Hose, man. That's a different game. Stay tuned for the After After shows for that one. Um, dark Hope is a puzzle adventure game set in a steampunk world where electricity started and ended its existence with the light bulb. Towering clockwork puzzles and archaic symbols cover the halls. Strange rifts of light span the hallway. Uh, we got to thank the developer for sending us some keys over the curator, Connect. Mm -hmm. So thank you. Thank you, Broken Bunny. 
and let's get into it. How did, how did, uh, how did it play on uh, the Debs? Oh man, Matt, my favorite part of the dark hose is the inability <laughs> to go into a windowed mode, man. Cause I like my dark hose full screen. I really do, man. So over here on Debian 10.3, they did another point release update with a thread ripper, 1920X, 32 gigs of RAM, NVMe drives powered by a 2060 displayed at UHD, which I turned down to 1080p for this one. Yeah, if you like full screen, I hope you do, because that's option A and also option A. Um, if you like stuttering frames, because it does claim to hit 60, but it sure doesn't feel like it. Do you like oily smears disguised in motion as motion blur? Pedro disabled it, man. You, you, why did you spare them that wonderful, like, man, thing up, Laura? You oh, no. Thank goodness that there's an option to disable it now, because at first, there wasn't. They actually fixed it, so good on them. That's legitimately a thing. Uh, well, if you like all of that nonsense, son, I got the game for you, man. And this is it. Uh, I ran around mostly empty rooms, as you're seeing on the video version. I Let me describe an empty room for our audio listeners. It's an empty fucking room. It's maybe got like a shelf in it, a chair. Uh, you read some things, turn a few knobs, visit the portal room and watch your furps just tank for fuck all reason. Um, uh, you know, unless the lighting was broken on my end, everything was frighteningly well lit so you can genuinely see you're herking and jerking all the way to various items and attempt to interact with them i say attempt because you have kind of like this dot right there and it's rng if something does the thing like half the time mm -hmm. you gotta wait for it pedro will expand on that then you get bored after about 30 minutes of wandering and reading shit uh i played tech demos with more depth than this man and I'm unable to call Dark Hope a tech demo since that would be an insult to tech demos. This is like stock assets, horrible performance, empty rooms. I even tried it on Proton where you can actually see the frame pacing all fucked up. Uh, devoid of a reason to explore the environment. That's definitely a thing this game has. Uh, good times was not had by all, man. At 20 bucks, I, no. Just, hey... Thanks for sending that. Use like, you're like, oh, you're a stupid guy. You know, was use that as motivation to make something better than this. Because yeah, there, there's nothing to this that screams fun. Just a big solid. Nope. So yeah, on uh, Fedora 30, 64 bit with the uh, i7 6700K and the GTX 1080 Ti, when you click play, it launches and, you know, Wazding does about what you expect it to. Yeah, like Ben mentioned, interacting with the world is a little imprecise. You got like this little white dot radical. Sometimes it Matthew, lights up when you can. Matthew has a good point. Look, they're uh, not even centered. The text on the notes this isn't even nope, in the middle. Nope. <laughs> oh, 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 we'll get to that. Oh, yes. Um, but yeah, uh, you some sometimes the little white dot will light up. Sometimes it won't. It doesn't have any impact on whether or not you can interact with the thing or not. Uh. And oh God, help you if you're looking through drawers trying to find stuff because you may just. <laughs> Open and close the same drawer about nine times before you actually get to the thing that you're trying to do. Um, yeah, lots of lots of stock assets abound, and uh, Steam Overlay was reporting a solid sixty, but you know frame timing was way the fuck off. Um, bl motion blur was a bit of a mess because like sometimes there's some text on the walls, and like that would blur, and that doesn't look too good. Like when you're standing still, it was, it was pretty it was pretty messed up. Um, so fun wise, I will give the game credit that the name of their janitor in the personnel file is in fact Jan Etor, because apparently they're <laughs> Scrubs fans. Uh, the rest kind of, kind of. I mean, they got like the ooky spoopy atmosphere going on with like the sounds of gears creaking and water pipes expanding and contracting. Um, so it works out pretty well, even though there's like no real opponent here. Um, there, you got some. Sometimes there's some like splotches on the wall that might be blood I, I don't know could be barbecue sauce apparently it's chili because that was being served that day uh on the lunch <laughs> menu I, f I, I managed to piece that bit together but mm -hmm. yeah basically you wander around find out where you you can't go backtrack look through all the rooms find a litany of post-it notes and memos that will eventually reveal what you need to do there is no log you actually have to make your own notes in the game and they give you a painfully small notepad to do it with as well um that, that's where that non-center text comes from, is like, it's basically a web form. But here's the thing, though. When it comes to actually solving the puzzles, the, the janky interaction makes that makes what you're doing, what you found out you need to do, difficult. And that's bad. 
Uh, like, th th this thing right here, it was a little hit or miss when you hit the numbers, whether or not the thing would rotate. Um, same thing with, like, punching buttons in on some of the keypads. Uh, yeah. It, I mean, it, I, I can appreciate that they're trying to go for, like, a mist approach where you got to sort of figure out what's going on on your own. But, you know, the thing is, I, I never really liked mist, so I'm going to give it one chair. They tried. I liked Mist. I liked Mist a lot. I played through all of the, uh, well, I played through Mist, Riven, and Uru, so yeah, I liked Mist. Sequel to Mist? Yes, uh, but it launches just fine, um, Dark Hope, uh, or Dark Hose as the case may be. It looks very unity -y, uh, as in, you know, there, it looks like, uh, those games that were made from store-bought assets. The sounds are odd. But I'm pretty sure that's what they were going for. Actually, in the sounds department, I have absolutely no complaints. Like, the eerie atmosphere is very much there. The controls are WASD and the directional arrows, and you don't really have a way to change them. Uh, the performance, it's weird, because it, on the high settings at 1440p, 2560 by 1440p, uh, I'm getting anywhere between 45 and 60 FERPs. On medium, it shoots all the way up to 115, so it's like, okay, that, that, that's a thing. Um, as for the whether or not it's fun, you know, the thing that makes or breaks a video game, for the first 30 minutes, and 17 of which you're watching right now, uh, <laughs> I was running around, not really knowing what the hell I was uh, I was doing or what was going on. There's a lot of reading you need to do, and I like puzzle games. Uh, I do. Uh, in fact, uh, if there's one thing that the three of us can agree on, it's puzzle games. And, well, this one just doesn't seem to cut it. Um, there's a lot of text on screen that you have to read. And the more text you force me to read to get through your game, the least likely I am to enjoy it. Because, especially in a puzzle game, Jordan brought up Mist. Okay, uh, Mist has very little to no text on screen for most of the puzzles. You can solve them without reading any text, without listening to anyone talk. It's just intuitive in that respect and nothing is intuitive about um dark hose um but what really killed it for me was the inertia whenever you try to do anything when you start moving or when you interact with something like jordan mentioned you uh open and close the same drawer two or three times because it takes half a second between you uh clicking and the drawer opening so yeah, it feels like it's broken, but then again, it's being sold for £15.49, so one chair. Mm. Mm -mm. Alright, well, seems to be some kind of consensus here, looks like. Yeah, I don't know, I mean, what, what, what do you think? Yeah, dude, um, this, I, like. Maybe if, I, I don't even know, maybe if this was like early, way early access of like, here's my idea. Cause like right now I even watched you trying to sort through the safe thing. Everything looks alike, man. Mm -hmm. Like it's real easy to get lost. Not because of any other reason than, well, this room looks like this room, like this room, this room, but no, this one has a random safe. This one has some rather other random assets in it. And yeah. it, it definitely lacks that. Why should I be doing this at any point? Because Jello. Yes. <laughs> Give at, me at a motivation. At, I, at least according to the trailer, it's Jello. I'm saying I need more motivation other than, well, the dude took the time to send us review copies because that only lasted for like 30 minutes. And I was like, okay, I did my part. Yeah. Well, there we have it. Coming up next, you spin me right around, baby. Right round, like a hammer, baby, right Like round, a hamster, round, baby. Round. Spinning hamster. I mean, don't, don't spin hamsters. Unless you intend on throwing them afterwards. Put a ring on it. <laughs> you like it, then you should have put a ring on this hamster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't be a hamster player. All the single hamsters, all the single hamsters, all the single hamsters, all the single hamsters. 
Uh, let's see. Hmm? Laser beavers. Yeah, no. Um, I played Mist on the Saturn, um, and then Riven and Uru I played on the PC many years down the line. <laughs> If you like it, then you should have spun a wheel on it. If you like it, then you should have spun a wheel on it. <laughs> uh, hamsters. I like I like that Bill Bailey bit about how uh, that killer song makes no sense. I got soul, but I'm not a soldier. Is like saying I've got ham, but I'm not a hamster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is it? Oh, it's Have you ever... very windy outside. You're going to blow away. Mary Poppins is going to kick your door in and fuck you up. <laughs> Dude, if Julie Andrews like busted through my door and started like beating me with an umbrella. She better run. I'd, I, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd just give up and be like, yes, Julie Andrews, hit me harder. I don't have to pay Please, for this. Please, mommy. <laughs> You'd be like yeah. the uh, lady in front harder, of Harder, mommy. Come on. Like, harder. Harder. <laughs> Thank you, sir. May I have another? <laughs> Go back and watch, rewatch Freddy Got Fingered. It holds up of it. It's it. It's on such a level of like, fuck it. It's kind of brilliant. All I remember from that movie is, Daddy, would you like some sausage? Daddy, uh, would you like some sausage? Well, you when you said the, remember when he was caning his girlfriend, his uh, paraplegic girlfriend, in the shins so she could feel. It was like a sexual. <laughs> And then the zebras in America, his cartoon. <laughs> but it was right. dude. It's so fucking. Un I rewatched it recently. I was like, "Fuck, how did that get made? Never again." Everyone was super into Tom Green for a while. He's a really cool cat, man. Oh yeah, he seems like a nice enough guy. He's Canadian. He is from Ottawa. I don't hold that against him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe a little bit, but, you know. That's just because you're jingoist. <sighs> uh, it's got to be difficult to be hipsters in Canada, man, because you got to wear your coats and your scarves. Yeah, every, everyone already dresses like a lumberjack. You don't yeah. stand out. <laughs> <laughs> Are Uggs still a thing? Ugg boots? Yeah, I yeah. think so. Okay. Because they're, they're, they're warm, right? That's the... Yeah, I haven't seen those in a They're a thing minute. here. Okay. You see... A lot of people walking down the street with those. Does Nori have any? No. You should get her do, some. Do you, do you have some, Pedro? I don't want to get kicked with them, so... No. No. Come on. Oh, you man, know, you know you what? Imagine? You get her some Uggs, you get yourself some Crocs, and you guys can wore it out. Oh, dude. Steel-toed uh, <laughs> Uggs. Steel-toed Crocs. Mm -hmm. They make steel-toed Crocs. There's a... Oh, do they <laughs> actually? Yes, they do. That That's fucked up. I Almost that. ordered some. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely on the fence there now. <laughs> it's like just for around the house. <laughs> Home invasion crocs, babe. <laughs> Some people have a year of those crocs and you just nail them right in the shin. I'm telling you, man. Uh, a lot of times I get on silted boots and there's an extra added additional layer of arrogance when I'm talking to somebody. I'm like, man, I just boop you in the shin and you're down. <laughs> I mean, there's no getting up. There's no talking shit. It's like, ow. <laughs> also, you got to assume like carrying the extra weight from like the steel toes, probably good for you. So they actually they actually did a couple studies on that, hmm. and apparently the answer is no. Oh, neat. Uh, it it, um, it provides no real measurable be measurable benefit for strength or endurance. Mm -hmm. Um, they actually, a bunch of athletes actually recommend against it because you want to have the weight closer to the center of your body. Having it, uh, further to out will cause undue shear on your joints. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and if you want, like, if you want any sort of strength gain, you need essentially progressive overload. It's the only way. All right. Well, I just do it because I'm badass then. <laughs> you do it so you can <laughs> kick people in the shins. Yeah. No, no, I do it reason. so I can have the reassurance that I could. I never would. 
No money. Same reason why I carry a loaded handgun in my pocket. My Doc Martens I... and my Solvars. Uh, yeah, they're all still to it. I mean, the one, my old pair of Docs I got on right now are still to it. Clink, clink. They also like, oh, dude, don't buy Doc Martens. These are the ones that fell apart, like the $240 ones that lasted like, six weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Then you go to the Doc Martin website and you look it up and you're like, oh, we still make good ones. You just got to pay extra for them. Have you ever moved a washing machine? Like moved it from one house to another or just moved it yeah, in general? Just, like moved it around. Yeah. Because I pulled mine out. I was like cleaning in the uh, laundry room and I was like, you should go and get the hand truck from downstairs and like boop, boop. And I was like, no, you can pick that up and move it. I'm waiting for like the soreness to kick in because mm. I know I strain. It's like, oh, you, you know that, like where you can't breathe and you're like, but I can do this. <sighs> yeah. Sweep, 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 mop, 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 then repeat the process. Yeah. Then a day later, you're like, why did I do this? That's what I'm waiting for. It's like the day after. This is day two. This is where I thought I was going to wake up this morning and be like, I'm not going to be able to drive into work. Um, Still fine. Maybe I probably like broken organ or some shit and it's leaking out. <laughs> I mean, something or an eye is going to break. So, um, so the the powerlifting gym I went to had some had some fancy equipment that I wanted to try out. One of them was. I thought uh, you were going to say washing machines. My hopes crushed, <laughs> crushed. Right. I tell you, the 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 worst they have is concrete stones, but hmm. um. So they have, they have this thing called uh, called the safety squat bar. Looks like um, it looks like this thing. Um, I loaded about five hundred pounds on it, um, and you 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 would think that because of the padding, like it won't hurt you. The next day, I had bru I had bruises all along my shoulders and like the back of my neck. Yeah, yeah right down, right foam down your fucking back. is not back. gonna hold five hundred pounds. <laughs> Hmm? Oh, it, oh, it held 500 pounds. Dude, I've had the fucking... No, no, the foam isn't going to stop it from bruising no, you. Well, here's the thing, dude. I mean, I definitely have towel wrap and had the fucking grips bruised into my fucking shoulders. That triangle oh, if you, pattern. If you uh, if you take <laughs> off... Uh, if, if I take off my shirt, you look right across my back where I yeah. keep the bar when I do a low bar squat. Like, it is, like, perma-bruised. And, and the great thing about it, those nerves are dead. I do not feel anything when you touch them anymore. Oh. You just need to start with smaller bruises next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Build up a tolerance. Develop some immunity yeah. to those bruises. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun, though. I did, um... Uh, they, they had uh, the farmer's carry implements, and I did uh, I did a 90-foot walk for uh, with uh, 250 pounds in each hand. That's pretty cool. You, if you do that in competition, you have your body weight in each hand, which would have been another fifty pounds. I didn't want to. I didn't want to risk it. Uh, I mean, I've done the little waddle thing with like one fifty kettlebells, but I'm like, man, it, it wasn't to work out or anything. It was like, oh, I can look at, I can do it. Start, start. Okay, I'm done. Um. Yeah, I, 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 I was, I was trying to like move quickly. I, I, I was surprised that I thought my grip would have given out a lot sooner. Sooner. Good shit. Okay, Sumer. How long can you hang? How long can I hang? Mm -hmm. uh, the most I've done is like maybe 45 seconds. Hmm. How many pull-ups can you do? Not bad. It's two more <laughs> than I expected. That's three more than Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> I could do Thanks. 10. Thank you. <laughs> when was this last tallied? High school? Uh, no, it was... Um, oh, were you robbing a place shortly, recently? Like no, dropping out of the NHS? Before I came, no, it was shortly before I came to England. <laughs> okay. You, were because you Nori's dad actually had a bar um, going across uh, the top of his uh, workshop. It's like... And how'd that work out for him? <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> the, the, the I only thing weigh two hundred like, pounds. It's not that much. Come on. Yeah, I, I, I weigh I weigh like one and a half Pedros, but I can also deadlift six hundred and fifty pounds. So, yeah, 
Like I said, that's three of you and some change. <laughs> Don't worry, to escape Jordan, all you have to do is walk briskly. You're safe. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I got a pretty decent sprint, surprisingly. Cardio. Don't skip cardio. Oh, the original? Oh, is there like an enhanced version? Yeah, there is. There has to be. Yeah, no, because there was Tux Cart and then later it was Super Tux Cart. No, t we're talking about Tux Rider. Oh, Tux Racer? Right. Yeah. Tux Racer. I, I, yeah, there was Extreme Tux oh, Racer. Oh, dude, we're, we're, it's, it's just Tux with like the triangle boobs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's literally the game. Tux Raider, yeah. <laughs> uh, Tux Raider, the last revelation. <laughs> Rise of the Tux Raider. RT Shadow Tux, Tux baby. RT Tux. All right, eight mile segment. Last and definitely least. Dingle dongle. <laughs> ring, ring, ring. Banana Tux. Oh my God. <laughs> it's, it's just Tux in a banana hammock. Oh, dude, they're fused together. It's just a testament to the arrogance of mankind. Yeah, it's just like the fly, except with like with like a thong. It's Brindle a talks. penguin and a banana. Ah. Yes. In three, two. If you'd like to tell us a uh, penguin and your a banana story about how you fuse a penguin with a with a banana, you can totally do that. You can go to LinuxGameCast.com. You hit the contact button and you fill out the form. It's pretty self-explanatory in and of itself, but if for some reason, after watching that review, uh, you think that it w it's a good idea to send us your game. Well, make, please do send us your game. We'd be very happy to look at it. Just uh, make sure you include three keys in that email, or you send us three keys over Curator Connect. Or give us a tar.gz that we can share, because we're all about sharing. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with that. Sure. Sharing yeah. is herring. Sharing is herring. <laughs> it's a fish. Ah, yes, the red sharing. Red fish, red herring. <laughs> Moo. But maybe uh, you can do like Brandon, who is okay. uh, one of the people uh, behind one of the games that we were talking about last week. And it's like, uh, how you guys featured hammer dongers in your podcast was completely amazing and hilarious. Pretty much got the essence of the game right. Cheers from hammer dongers team. So yeah, kudos Jordan, you got that right. <laughs> dong dong dong. <laughs> Man, Banana I, hammock. I, I was like so blown away by that. I immediately had to go back and figure out what Hammer Dongers was again. Um, <laughs> it's, 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 it's like four-player Bomberman, pretty much. That's yeah. pretty cool. And Jordan did uh, an admittedly uh, all right intro spiel for the game, and uh, apparently they liked it. So there you go. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Why is this not on Steam? Because compared to what we just played on Steam? <laughs> yes, please. Anything. <laughs> It it is on itch, and I think it's pay what you want at the moment. Yeah, it's give, on itch. Yeah, give him some coin, man. That's kind of brilliant. Well, um, yeah, I wish we had more hate mail. Why don't you send us some hate mail? We got plenty of YouTube comments. Please do. But yes. hey, man, use the <laughs> use the forum. Use oh, we did get some hate mail from uh somebody who did use the forum. Check this out. They uh -huh. read. They even read and avoided our spam gob. Uh -huh. Okay. To ask us <laughs> if they could give us money so they could write a review for some fucking software. Oh, they can give us money to write the review and then we won't read it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it will just never go up. <laughs> well, I thought about that and I was like, because we get, we used to, this is one of the reasons we have the spam golem now. And I was like, you motherfuckers, like, read that. Went through the manual process of like, hey, would you like to do a sponsored post? And, you know, anyway, I always write back <laughs> a happy, fun sentence or paragraph that involves two words. Eagle, semen. Guaranteed. Caca. <laughs> ah! Caca, motherfuckers. I, I, just, I don't think we're going to do better than that, so... Let's cue the music. You can always find us around 8.30 Eastern Standard Moon Time. Put us all over your face, chest, and neck. If you're a Patreon, if you're our boss financing us, come join us an hour early at 7.30. 
in Discord, LGC Live Channel will be there to talk your gorgeous little sexy ears off. If you want to get in touch with me, at Vinstone on the Twitters or just at Vin on mast.linuxgamecast.com because that's the thing. Pew, pew, pew. I'm just a Brody too. I'm Jordan. You can find me on Twitter at Burning Fool or on our Mastodon. I'm Frojo at mast.linuxgamecast.com slash bird. If when you ejaculate, it goes pew, please go see a doctor. Never. On the other hand, I am Pedro Matuz. You can find me at an accounted for on Twitter. I suppose I am also on mm. mass.linuxgamecast.com at an accounted for, uh, but Twitter, you know, You know what? YouTube's going to try to hit us for that. They're going to try to hit us for that, Pedro, and I'm going to argue <laughs> it on, like, medical terms. Yeah, you're, 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 I mean, Pedro, your 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 PP goes pew pew, doesn't it? No, no, no it's a black. It <laughs> just, just Sopranos it. Just like <laughs> cut the cut the black before you can even get a response out. I love it. Ah, uh, we're gonna thank all our special, lovely pew pew Patreons, Putreons. No, <laughs> yes, the uh, Patreons. Our executive producers <laughs> like uh, Theron and uh, Mr. Foxdog and Empty and Haplo and the Atomic oh Ass, Mike G, Mike G. Barbara. Barbara. <laughs> and, yeah, I said Aldius. We got Haplo. We got Mac Geek. We got we got, we got Scott. Scoot and Frost, Frosty. Yeah. Frosty. Yeah. Frosty the Claw Man is there. Frost Claw. Woo. Woo. And our regular ass producers like David S. Smash the G. Michael. Egal. Jolly. Top Cool. Gaius Machi. Ya Max Yabo. Stony Fish. <laughs> Krez Che, Mr. Alert. Michael N. Brad S. Massimoni. Dan W. Niven. Luke W. Luke w. w. Mike Dirty W. Dirty D. Datar. Christopher C. Radiker. Fraser. <laughs> Aldius. Nicole. Again. Costa, <laughs> Dirty Dean, Nunder Cheat, Nova. Rudy, I didn't forget about you, Rudy. Igor, Rudy, Scott, Rudy, again. Rudy, Rudy. <laughs> Ryan, Joe, Angel, oh. Evandro, Douglas, uh, Bram, we got Gonzo Paul. 2000, Jupiter Broadcasting, Bell, Rudy, Brock, Rudy. and, and of course, Mango, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Ryan, Nathan, the Admiral JT, and yeah, Brock. <laughs> what did we learn this week, gentlemen? Never face Brock with a Charmander. Never face Crocs with steel toes. Unless you two are wearing steel tro toed Ugg boots. Steel throws. Yes, the steel tr throws. O obey the throws. <laughs> steel throw. It's my new Pokemon move. It's got 70 base power and like 50 accuracy. <laughs> Too many choices. Uh, I used to play Pokemons, but no. <laughs> And now it's Wednesday. <laughs> it is. I'm, oh, 40 I'm K Jesus. <laughs> I mean, technically, I think he's supposed to be Gilgamesh, but sure. Gilgamesh, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. 40 <-mesh>. K Jesus. <laughs> yeah, Jesus is just ripping off Gilgamesh, anyways. <laughs> Gilgamesh is yeah. the OG. The G stands for Gilgamesh. <laughs> mm. uh, so, you know the uh, Antithecarian mechanism? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a, I was watching a very recent talk, um, uh, about, a, you know, it's, it's just like a lecture at, I think, Darwin University. Okay. And so, do you know what they've basically decided this thing was now? I originally thought it was like a constellation tracker, no? Right. Which it does track that, but they've, like, reinterpreted, uh, the, like, um inlays on it the inscriptions okay. through this uh, is, is it is it a fargate no the Aww. current theory right now is that it was used to keep track of the four years between the olympic games interesting yeah i was like huh well that's kind of a lower rung than what i was thinking <laughs> like it's a supercomputer yeah. that like it could calculate their bullshit idea of what they thought were orbits at the time which looked like figure eights with a 13 thrown into it yeah well because they they were convinced that they weren't ellipsoids right yeah it right. wasn't a geocentric um or, uh, heli yeah. uh, heli heliocentric. heliocentric yeah yeah that, that definitely wasn't the, yeah it had all that um but yeah they, they're like yeah they're pretty sure it was just designed to keep track of the four years between the games 
Interesting. Hmm. I was like, huh. okay, well, fine. I'm Stargate. Did, it, did, did anyone figure out what those Roman D20s were for? They're playing <laughs> angels and aqueducts? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Loot, looting and lead poisoning. All right. Anyways, Super. Go ahead. Go do your thing. Yay. 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 <laughs> yeah, no, the, um, of that bit of my desk is now completely full of random bits of, um, IT equipment from <laughs> all the stuff that I pulled out of the drawers to, like, try and finish the, um, the Steam box. Mm -hmm. So all my controllers are now here. I have my three controllers, like, in front of the monitor over here. <laughs> yeah. I have three and controllers. the second DualShock. <laughs> See, listen, we're not all made, out, made of DualShocks. Okay? <laughs> and, of course, the mistress. Thank you very much. Um, locked on in. Thank you. You. <laughs> you. you peasant with only one Steam controller. <laughs> Look, I tried to tell Davis, like, look, they're four pounds. Just go get them. Just buy it. It's fine. Just go. It's still <laughs> it's in like, the box. They're out of stock. <laughs> Wait, I take that back. It's not still in the box. I, The other one's in that box now <laughs> because it's like, I'm going to use it. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, how, yeah, do, how uh, do you not do that? All the other controllers I had, I gave them away. I gave the F310 to Nori's sister because she's like, yeah, I need a game. Uh, I need a controller that works with like all the Steam games or at least most of them. It's like, here, it's like, I can have that. Yeah, just take it. What controller do you use the most? Because um, if I'm going to do that, the one I end up using the most is the 360 wireless. You see, okay. DualShock 4. <laughs> This is the one I want to use the most, but the damn button <laughs> prompts are never right. Yeah, no, I, I, my brain just maps those correctly, so... <laughs> See, I don't do that. Now, I've gotten to the point now, after 26 hours of The Witcher 3, I can use this finally, because I don't... Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I just know by feel where the things are, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, to start off, I'm like, oh, I can't use it, so... I, the uh, 360. Yeah, uh, this one is the one I use the most because, well, oh, look, I can actually hit the bumper and the trigger with my nubbins instead mm. of, you know, the fingers that I don't have on my right hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and the Steam controller is pretty much decoration. <laughs> The Steam controller uh, is going to get a lot more use going forward. Those account of the Steam box because I'm going to put the um, little receiver I do into the Steam box. Why not? Oh, Bluetooth. It does have a built-in Wi-Fi slash Bluetooth thing. Yeah. But. Um, yeah, just hit the button and it goes. This is Pedro saying, I don't want to lose this thing with a bunch of extra steps. Yes, it, <laughs> it is in there, so I know where it is. <laughs> There's that too. Both of mine are in the box. <laughs> so I don't lose them, just in case. The like, oh, just I, I know where they're, I know where they is. I did, that's yeah. one thing I did. Uh, Thursday, I think. I cleaned up didn't clean up. I reorganized the box room. <laughs> where, you know, like steam controllers and stuff that is in boxes mm -hmm. and like audio equipment. That's because everything inside, I'm that person. It's uh, everything to do with that thing is inside there with the manuals, cables. So it's easy to find. It's like, oh, I need that thing. Do, do, do. I can go in there. But. Yeah, it's so much cleaner now because I pulled everything out all throughout the house and I had boxes everywhere and I like reorganized. I Tetris the hell out of it, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I almost took a picture. Oh, oh and, I, and I, that's of, also uh, the monitor room, which I have seven yeah. flat panel displays that 
fuck all to do with them. They're just like <laughs> lined up now next to the monitors. The CRTs. I, uh, speaking of boxes and um, monitors, um, I sold those two white Asus VX239HWs. Mm -hmm. um, co-worker Heather uh, was uh, complaining at work. It's like, yeah, my monitor at home is like a 1600 by 900 monitor and it's old and I want something better it's like i have two 1080p ips monitors that actually look pretty good and if you want them it's like 40 pounds each i'll buy them it's like yeah just stop by and pick them up <laughs> nice and she did <laughs> i can't like all of those monitors like no one wants them even that like the ultra wide dell Oh, and, and I mean, you can have the money. You can't have my Dell stand because it's got like a slide. That's the only reason I got it. Just yeah. happened to have the monitor attached to it. And, like that's useful. I have sun monitors. Oh, I moved that sun monitor. Jeez, that'll make you feel weak, Pedro. <laughs> it made me feel like a little tiny man. I was like, yeah, okay. Because I looked at it. I was like, I gotta pick this thing up. Yeah, it, the. <laughs> uh, I really don't miss CRTs. <laughs> 20 inch Sony Trinitron monitor. It's GM20. I think I looked it up in uh, Freedom Pounds and it's like 96 pounds. That's 40 kilos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I picked it up like an Atlas Dome because I put it up on something high. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how the little plastic... It's not little. It's well-engineered. Son, you did a good job because it sounds like it's going to break every time you sit it down, but it never has. I don't even yeah. know if that thing still works anymore. <laughs> because I lost the remote control. It doesn't have any buttons on it. Uh, I... I... I mean, those two uh, 1080p monitors that were literally in their boxes um, in the little storage cabinet that we have uh, right behind the front door. So it's like, yeah, I know, please someone buy those. <laughs> and they go for like um, 60 or 70 pounds on eBay. So it's mm -hmm. like, okay, we work together so you can have them for cheaper there. <laughs> That's the difference between somebody trying to sell something and get rid of it. <laughs> this is um one of the advantages if you're looking for like audio equipment reverb has over ebay it's because reverb is usually musicians or music studios trying to get junk out of the door and make a buck off of it because if you look for the digimax 003 on ebay they're about 300 bucks Now, going price, going price for one's probably about a hundred bucks. The one I got, original box, original, like, everything. Like, it, it looked like I was over at some hoarder's house, and they're like, oh, here, let me show you all the manuals and material. Like, it had all that shit. In it. All of it. I was impressed. Actually, I think I can show you. I got some B-roll footage. I recorded. I unboxed it. Where's your god now? Um, where did I put that? Um, yeah. <laughs> there it is. Rack. <laughs> the three rack. I mean, it's got everything in it. It's a big chungus, too. <laughs> to you. Yeah, that's a to you. Yeah. yeah. Steel, baby. Mm -hmm. Heavy. But, well, I mean, yeah, it's got everything in it. All the original. Like, hey, thank you for spending... <laughs> Software. It's got like a safety guide. Warranty. 
registration ID. It has ID. all of the uh, yeah. pencils. All right. <laughs> like this is like somebody collected it. And it's got the Pro Tools. And cables. Yeah. <laughs> and it came with the original yeah. rack screws. You know, the person who had that before didn't live in an apartment, you know, a teeny tiny apartment like mine, because it still has the box and everything else. <laughs> that came out of a uh, professional music studio. Yeah. <laughs> they pulled it out of a rack. <laughs> Because one of the reasons I'm making a video about this is Windows 7's EOL. Windows 10 doesn't support officially FireWire. And yep. Mac, Apple hasn't made a Mac Pro with FireWire since 2016. Yep. So you can get thousand dollar, multi thousand dollar interfaces that are of higher quality than anything you're going to buy from like a Behringer or a Presonus like that for like three or 400 bucks and you can get them for pennies. Yeah. What do you have? Like a little arcade cart? Naomi too. Can be. Is that one of the lobotomized ones? A lot of them. Uh, was it the Naomi's that had the, uh, no, that was the Capcom boards that had the death batteries in them, wasn't it? The Capcoms had that issue, yeah. But they there's a way to, like, reflash them now. Naomi 2 death kit, all right. Suicide yep. batteries. <laughs> The Capcoms were kind of infamous for that. Ah, uh, the arcade dream. Okay. Okay. Yep. Got it. Got it. There's your fair warning, everyone. That's not the room code, though. Feel free to use it. Um, I don't know where you'll end up. <laughs> And I think on that, I need to move you over Har. Har? Three monitors with like 8,000 <laughs> um, horizontal out of desk space. That's not hard to do. <laughs> That's just two UHDs and a 1080 plus. No, two, two, two 1080s and two UHDs. Take that back. I keep forgetting this I thing's was... 1080p, the little tiny monitor. <laughs> I was this close to buying another one of these uh, UHD monitors because there was another one that showed up on the Amazon warehouse for 140 something pounds. It's like, I'm going to need a better GPU if I'm going to have to drive that. So not yet. <laughs> yeah, let's go with, uh, yeah. Uh, we haven't started yet. Don't think that room code was just whatever Jackbox TV has for de default. As being, I think for once, as being serious. Don't pay any attention to it. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Been being serious? What? Um, let's have a lock on the circle cam. Scooch. And capture composite. Tadrip. Ooh. And stretch. Mm, look at that. All no. right, everyone, pile into the after shows. And... <laughs> pile on! Dog <laughs> pile! Hello, Foxy. Sup, folks? Hello! Hello, everyone! Foxy, 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 Foxy! Hello! Anna, Jill, and Namir. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, no, Alan? Hello, Why you gotta leave Alan voice. out of everything, Pedro? I mean, for once, can you yeah, acknowledge that Alan is here? <laughs> Hello, Alan! Did he say anything? <laughs> I didn't See, notice. He, he yeah. didn't even hear him. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so lack. So lack. 
I mean, your brain filtered it out, man. You're, you're so hellbent on not acknowledging <laughs> Alan's presence. I swear I did not notice him. I'm sorry, Alan. <laughs> oh, hello, Katana, as well. <laughs> and Ben. And Pedro. <laughs> oh, shit, we're here? I've been here the Smart. whole time, Jill. <laughs> Come on. Jill's just realizing. She's like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I... <laughs> Is there a new junk box? Probably. The six was the last one, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, I think they got one in early access or something. Yeah, they do. I saw, All them right. saw some people playing a new game this morning. Where they were just subtitling oh. everything. I got the like email. Like you're giving a clip of it. a Japanese film, you've got to say subtitle this. Ah. Uh, you, cool. you mean a haiku? <laughs> that looks like fun. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. It has nothing to Jordan! do with Bios. Hello, Jill. Oh, you had fun in Vegas when you were able to have fun. Yeah, that was all right. <laughs> I'm glad you got to stay at the Cosmo. That's a, a beautiful hotel. Oh, it's it's one. super fucking swanky. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I miss not being with you on a stream on Thursday, but I'm glad yeah. you had fun. Mm -hmm. Uh, Thursday, Thursday was like a work day, so. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that would have been fun. So there, th so there's, there's this club, right? Um, <laughs> go on, tell us about your work day. <laughs> it's inside the hotel, and they like threw oh. an event for the for the monitoring software there, and. This was the wrong environment to hold such a function. I'm just going to say that. Okay. Um, right. There's like house music playing and people serving drinks and hors d'oeuvres. And on the screen was like a promotion for the software. Hey. And you had, you had you had all these business people just kind of standing around awkwardly. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to do this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Let hang on one moment. Uh, sorry, All I right. spaced there. What was the there code again? Go. <laughs> I am maybe it's Jordan will make it in. <laughs> maybe. Hey, Mr. Bo. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Mr. B.O. Mr. Bodio. Man, would, 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 would you be happy if people called you Mr. B.O.? Mr. B.O. dog. <laughs> nope, nope. I want to be Professor Bo. <laughs> Mr. Needs call deodorant me dog. Bo. <laughs> Clearly you went around me during high school. All right. <laughs> Oh, right, smells we still like a have wet one free slot. If anyone, no. Nope, apparently, we're starting. I'm not patient. Too bad. No. <laughs> Let's get quippy. Oh. Uh, we're quippy. You quip can join in. Welcome to Quiplash. I'm your host, Schmitty. On Jackbox.tv. That's right. Room code. It's up, up a right hand corner. Mr. Bo. Cool. There, bo, 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 Mr. Bo. I guess we can hang out right, right, right here. Get two prompts on your device. Just answer them however you want. Your responses or quips will be pitted no against someone else. No pandering to the audience. Aww, why not? <laughs> yes, please pander. <laughs> no pandering. No, no, no pandering. <laughs> That's the rule. <laughs> you lose otherwise. Yep. You will be disqualified and disinvited. Okay. Alright. Bring it. Alright, there we go. Alright, why not? 
We'll Munch do up. better next time. Launch up. There we go. Have a repeat of the rap battle incident. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, God, I'm still trying to forget that. Pizza has to have lots and lots of blank. Is it rat feces? Empty? Okay. What's the bonus? Uh, <laughs> Is it rat placenta? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no. Yes. Uh, no. Well, since uh, at this point, it's kind of pandering. <laughs> it's cool, Alan. <laughs> How's placenta pandering? <laughs> that, that's pandering. Apparently, that's what uh, we're pandering oh. for. I guess. <laughs> okay, next time. Uh, uh, a get well card for someone injured by a robot. Load away. <laughs> hmm. Oh, those are both terrible. Get <laughs> 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 shot. You got killed. I mean, sure. I... Okay. Oh. Hey! <laughs> Slightly less terrible. Monster. <laughs> With your slightly less terribleness. What the filling of a cold egg should be called? But I like Jordan. Spungus. Ah, come on, that's easy. Yeah. Oh, those are both still terrible. No, one is clearly better than the other. Please pass a slot nog. I took a bath in slot nog the other day. Yep. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> Team Slush Nog. Love That's what love. happens when you put Nog in a blender. <laughs> <laughs> the actor <laughs> dies <laughs> early. <laughs> Clearly, there's a okay. theme here. <laughs> <laughs> Like Snoop Doggy Dog? I guess. Uh, <laughs> Snoop Lion now, isn't it? No, it's just Snoop. No. It's just Snoop. Oh, it's just Snoop. Okay. Aww. Which one was it? I mean, uh, again, yeah, yeah, I best, the, best of two <laughs> bad options. Foxy. The least worst. Foxy, Foxy, Doggy, Doggy, Doggy. <laughs> Fox Dog. Fox Doggy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's over. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we'll go on that one. Go on that one. <laughs> uh, ICBMs are kind of fun. Yeah. I look, I look at ICBMs and like, that's going to be hard to beat. <laughs> then I look oh, down. Okay. Mm. <laughs> it was. Alright, alright. Oh, come on. Uh, just make it just a little bit easier, I guess. <laughs> Next problem. What on a D. The weirdest label you can Very have good. on a moving box. Empty. Vote on your devices. <laughs> well, I mean, the, there's clearly a winner here. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, who, who, who doesn't great. have fragile on moving boxes? I know, right? Beast. I knew yeah. that one was Ven's. That's a, that's a Ven response. Yeah, I, I did it like, I was just trying to do it like fragile but it didn't come out right. It just, it did fragile. In the so. hopper, something you should never say when pulled over by Oh boy! Oh, oh boy! Get to voting! Does my <laughs> butt look like an insect? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Little known yet common question in rural areas. <laughs> uh, that damn bug. Bug. <laughs> Baby, your ass looks like a crang mantis because it's about to bite my head off. Round one's done. Let's see who's in the lead. Uh, uh. Yeah. What's my power level? 
Hey, <laughs> third oh, place. Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> oh, second. Okay. Double the points and bonuses. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. There goes nothing. What the fuck is this? Um, uh, that? Um, I can't think of it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. One of mine's like, I don't know, man. What a we'll mine was very low effort. <laughs> what a mine. We'll find out. We'll find out. <laughs> well, what a mine was very Canadian. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Let's see. Random I'm guess. Hurry up. Use, a safety kit you Use your safety word. <laughs> it goes. <laughs> the weirdest talent a beauty pageant contestant could showcase. Okay. <laughs> 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 I like put it. Oh. <laughs> That's cute. My, my world famous ping pong trick. <laughs> I don't think that's what you're laughing at, Jill. Oh, safety cue. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Dang it. Uh... <laughs> How many golf balls can you shove in your body? In my jowls. All of Johnny Depp's many scarves. It's voting time. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh god, there's so much cancer with that pun. Um, that was, yeah, well, uh, the answer is ah, I figured that could have gone either way. It was kind of dark, but it didn't. <laughs> no. Well done, Jill. <laughs> no one could handle that. I don't think anything else. Uh oh. <laughs> Sally you lose to us. Salicious. Lucy Sally used this bread. Oh. <laughs> yep. Oh. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. I you know. get that one, Jill. <laughs> Important part of it. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'll tell you if it's accurate or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know which one's accurate. Yeah, Neither one of those is Jordan. maple syrup yes. or saying sorry. Oh my okay. God. This one is, oh my God. Too real. <laughs> Too real. <laughs> Too real. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out if you guys know Canada. <laughs> The truth is, it's both. <laughs> <laughs> you, you gotta have, you, you, you gotta cry into the moose. <laughs> you cry on the moose. <laughs> no, you have to enter the moose. Ready, set, vote. I don't want to vote for that one, but the other one isn't great either. Yeah. <laughs> you will see the boat. We all float down here. Look on the starboard side, you'll see Tennessee. Wait, what? Yes. Figures. Yeah. Well, Damn. Audience side with uh, the audience. Alan and I. Uh, Team Hamster Sauce for life, baby. Coming up next, the one thing told those operators say every day. 
This is not half what the damage. Yeah. <laughs> well, this one's easy. Eh. Uh. <laughs> 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 uh. Someone's trying to pander to the audience. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Damn it, Bobby! <Bobbit. laughs> no, that was a close Don't worry, one. I had one that ate shit too. <laughs> yes. Get to voting. <laughs> oh wow, those are both terrible. Uh, yeah. <laughs> locker room <laughs> fungus. Uh, well, you should never <laughs> yeah, lock a room fungus that after that a flying. Never locker, locker room fungus. Fine. Yes, never yeah, a locker room don't, 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 don't do it. Don't don't do it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. No. <laughs> that was the low effort one. <laughs> Thank, thanks, Pedro. <laughs> thanks, Pedro, Slip for using slide. it. That was good. That was good, Pedro. And that's all for round two. Fire that wasn't. Forward. It really wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. Oh, no. how the hell am I in first? Because <laughs> you, you, oh, you, you got now the, the you got everyone on the double points yeah. round. Everyone's taking aim at the same prompt this uh, time. That's our strategy. Aim lower. <laughs> Here is your word lash task. Oh. Yes. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my goodness, okay. No, can't do that one. Too dark, too dark. Nope. Make, make it good, guys. I don't know, I did something. Gas theft auto. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Oh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I kept waiting for the, the second uh, question. Nah. This is the last round, so. Ah. <laughs> uh, put me on the spot. Couldn't come up with anything good. Okay, let's go to the board. In the final round, you can give out one gold, one silver, and one bronze medal to your top three quips. Make them count. Well, one okay, just doesn't have the word have gas, gas in it. <laughs> Yeah, no. That one's yep. <laughs> Oh, Pedro. play to the audience. Yep. I gotta vote that. Can't vote for that one. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That one's just hurts my brain. Did you have to siphon yeah. gas no. in Mad Max? I'm thinking. Yes. Okay, so that yeah, one's mirrors. Do. Don't vote for it. <laughs> no, no, I am an audience. I'm an audience member. I'm. I Learn to take a them. joke, son. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ha, ah, ah. ha. Okay, everyone, let's see. Yes, lot of rock. Bronze first. Bring out the silver and gold. Let's sell off those medals for points. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I got no gold whatsoever. Three K. <laughs> it's over. Let's see the final I score. I think Pedro still won. Well done, Joel. Yeah, he should. I think Pedro had enough of a lead. Yeah, just by like yeah. a couple hundred though. I, I, oh, I no, crafted the second. Yeah. <laughs> I oh, crafted oh, a second. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I, I really thought siphoning more gas wouldn't have, wouldn't have done it. But... More gas. <laughs> more. Just, just siphon more, more gas. gas. The, the entire game is just like Mad Max sucking gas out of both cars. That's it. <laughs> Although I gotta ask, did you come up with that before that talking to chat or Yay. after? Pedro. No, I, the, I, I yeah. The I, real I, question: I, Were you paying Scott would, any attention whatsoever? Dude, that was like <laughs> that was take four. Like, because I was pretty sure my first option, which you all know what it is, mm -hmm. would not fly. <laughs> not allowed on Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> no, can't do it. Won't nope. do it. 
So attempt two is pretty terrible. Attempt two is basically gas to gas harder. Someone actually went with that one, so I'm like, okay, I'm glad I didn't pick that one. Then I'm just like, what the fuck? I'm, then I tried to come up with a gas pun, and I came up short. Then I'm just like, like, what's, what's a game that has gas? Mad Max 2, siphoning more gas. <laughs> just, just, just suck it out of a hose. Yeah, yeah that worked, Jordan. <laughs> Oh, it's it's the trivia. Mm -hmm. We're gonna find Can't out who drinks and knows things. Who knows the things? I'm drinking coke. Does that, <laughs> does that matter? Oh, I'm, I'm I'm the little doctor man. Nice. Who am I? <laughs> uh, I am. You 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 you're, oh, you're, you're, you're the you're the dude who's oh, slipping everyone off. I'm, I'm always that guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm the hangman. I get, I get the purple guy a lot. <laughs> I'm a little pinky guy. And you know, it says tentacles. It says everybody's in, but it can also say everybody's in. I mean, we are sinning right now. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> it's the sin of pride and vanity. Oh. And knowing things uh, that are against the Bible. The Bible. Welcome to Trivia Night, a merciless deluge of pain and suffering. Or at least, oh, don't let me keep you or anything. Okay, now. First question. Ash Ketchum is the main character oh. of what cartoon? Mm. Oh, come on. It's Star Wars, <laughs> right? <laughs> Clearly. No, it's Star Trek, you moron. This is a trick question. <laughs> it's time on, to do 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 Duel! <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know what's sad is there's probably people who will get this question wrong. I hope not. <laughs> Wow. Oh shit! Wow. Oh, what? Jill. <laughs> what, 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 did, what did she pick? Dude, get ready for the excuse. <laughs> no, I said. I, Here it comes. Thinking, no, I just wasn't paying attention. Yeah. I'm sorry. I was looking at my phone. I don't know. Well, I'd, I'd be, I know better. <laughs> cut, cut off oh, one of your fingers, Jill. Oh, Do pick it. Pick a finger. Uh, okay. Pick a finger. <laughs> now you can forever give people the shocker. I'm kidding. But you can't give yes. people the spocker. No spocker. No spocker no for you. I'm doing the sting. <laughs> Here's the early scores. These will change over time, probably. That's how scores work. And before I forget, let's check in with that audience. Often that is true, yes. Audience. Th this is how scores work. <laughs> Perfect audience score. <laughs> in Romeo and Juliet, what kills Juliet besides a broken heart? Tachyons. <laughs> Entropy, really. That. Yeah, true. A critical loss of homeostasis. Oh, no. The inevitability. This one. <laughs> oh, happy oh, dagger. I can't see. <laughs> Stab oh, Stab Stab it. Yeah. That's that's what that's what she said before yeah, she killed herself. It was herself. Romeo that did the poison, right? Romeo, Romeo, <laughs> Stab 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 I want to see your artistic well, side. Okay. Ooh. Y'all show you my artistic Romeo. side. Romeo. We're far out though, Romeo. <laughs> <laughs> all this thing as best as you can and press send when you're What the fuck? If you want to uh, destroy my sweater, pull the thread and walk away. Yep, that was it. I don't know. <laughs> mm. I don't fucking know. Uh, that was listen, actually very easy. <laughs> Now everyone gets to vote. Pick the drawing that you hate the most. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that you hate the most. Oh, okay. Well, easy answer. <laughs> Go with your gut. Your drawing. Don't hold back. The votes are in. 
Oh. This is oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, God damn it. <laughs> pe pe I guess people aren't triggered by Windows 95. <laughs> the Weezer music video wasn't the Windows 95 CD. Right, and I just hate Windows 95. <laughs> You're extra dead. Here's that scoreboard again. I made it pretty clear what this was the first time, right? Nope. Uh, I think I'm over explaining. Nope. Try again. <laughs> Let's try another one. What was Pizza's uh, original uh, name in Super Mario Oh, Brothers? shit. Oh. 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 Damn. I think it's bad. It better not be the one I don't think it is. Yeah. I don't know if there's the one before that. Who said? Yes. Yeah. Mike. Empty. Shit. For shame. For shame. Uh oh. Yay. No Mike, so it doesn't have to say excuses. Well, only empty has to do this, so. Nope, we gotta play. Green, Everyone blue, plays. Orange, oh, shit. Put these away. From left to oh. right. Blue, blue, blue the orange. Colors. Don't let those Green. other players do better blue. than you, okay? For real, it'll be bad. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Um. Yeah. Bah! Bah! Woo! D. Here's the pattern again, folks. How did you do? Not, not well. Poorly. Oof. <laughs> not well. Exactly right. oh, oh, you nailed it. Oh, empty. Got get well five. Done. We'll get I got none. <laughs> I think. Damn, beating Pedro. <laughs> oh shit, Alan, Alan <laughs> leaked behind. Shot in the lead, because I didn't pay attention. <laughs> Which chain restaurant increased sales by 33% after it was mentioned in the Beyonce song, Formation? Oh, fuck. Uh, oh, fuck that. Oh, fuck. <laughs> or in Jesus. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go that. 25% uh, And This one sounds like it would most fit in the song. I don't, I don't know who has jelly that you're not ready Col for. <laughs> it was John Colton's soft shot back. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, which one? Oh, man. oh sweet. Oh, <laughs> oh, fuck me. Don't get between Anti Tihan and Beyonce, Beyonce. man. You you get no, don't, get beyond, <laughs> don't, don't get between <laughs> Tihan and those cheddar biscuits. If no one takes the money, no one dies. Well dead. But if you do take the money, I'll kill everyone who Dead men talking. There's one cat. Prisoner's dilemma, baby. If you take the money, then you all die. Feel free to shove your hands at each other. Ooh, okay, here we go. <laughs> Prisoner's dilemma with this thing. And who is a sucker? Yes! It's good to see evil win. Aww. Yeah, evil, 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 <laughs> evil. <laughs> hey, oh, you two get it. Yep. Aww. Aww. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> evil win! <laughs> Question. You better watch out, Police Academy's Michael Winslow. There's a oh, bird shit. with your talent. What Australian bird can mimic almost any shit. sided fears? Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> We've all watched that YouTube video. Uh, yep. <laughs> the Phoebe. What's the Phoebe? Fuck, Phoebe fucking, bird. fucking chainsaw bird. Oh no! I have no idea. There's no cockatoos here, so. Yes. Ta da! Yeah! You have to give the answer yep. away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. Dun dun dun. Is it a chainsaw bird? Yep. Dun dun dun. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. I think you could spell Beyonce with that. <laughs> yes, you can, actually. <laughs> don't be the person with the shortest. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you're ready for Punish this, words. I don't think you're ready. Do it. Shortest word dies. 
T E L E. Telly. 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 Oh, yeah. You could do telemurray. Telemurrays. Telemetry? What is there? No. Uh, no, there's I no way. to go for oh, the hypoplotal mm. monsters as keep aliophobia, but uh, there's not enough letters. Uh, <laughs> gelato. <laughs> Irritatable. <laughs> oh. 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 Two R's. Two R's. Oh. Yo. Yeah, two R's. Can't use the Canadian spelling. <laughs> no, it's good. Scott's just bad at, so, at spelling. That's that's been established. And Jill didn't finish apparently, so everyone loses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having so much fun right now. I'm gonna have to journal. I'm having a blast. All right, it's a party. A I need to party. Really justify all the bad things I've done over the years. Okay. How often does Mars go into retrograde? Shit. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. I am not up on my hippie bullshit, so. No! <laughs> <laughs> and the correct answer is this one. Ah, damn it. P.S. Fuck you all. <laughs> Oh, fuck me. Just me and Ven uh, got that right uh, out of sheer uh, blind freaking luck. <laughs> of course, that was my first no, guess, and I go, no, nah, it's not bad. You'll do. God damn it. Always go with your first guess. Roll higher or lower. You can make it as hard or as easy as you want. Whoa, even lower. I give my victims a chance. You're cold. <laughs> of course. Oh. That was <laughs> unanimous. Go fuck yourself, man. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah! My shit stat rolling pays off! 3d6 in order! 3 strength! 3 strength! 3 strength! This is why I don't gamble. This is why I didn't gamble in Vegas. Empty in this ruler? No day. So you did gamble and you won! You know what that means. Oh. Jordan is the last one alive. Jordan is the alive. And it won't be easy to escape body. Rip. But my body, yes, my empty. body oh, is telling me yes. run. Thank you very much for the follow. Boss <laughs> Jack Tron 2 on Roblox. The right <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah they're both in, they both don't have spines. That's too easy, man. You got like a cheat. Yeah, you got an easy one. Oh, did I mention that all the other mm. ghosts get to play too? If the ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Mmm, sweet Not my body! body. <laughs> your body. <laughs> and ghosts get a third choice. My body, my hot, hot body. Oh, wait, shit, no. Fuck. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I got that wrong. Dun, dun. I was. Once again, I was thinking of Gilgamesh. <laughs> Damn you, Gilgamesh. <laughs> it's Jesus. <laughs> Not a drill. They're good to move. God. Turn move. Oh, Everybody moves. Me. Yay. Founding UN members. Uh, uh, uh. I'm probably wrong about that. Probably. So maybe, am I. maybe just a little bit. <laughs> All right. Come Did on. It. Dang it. Oh. 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 Damn it, Bobby. Ah, God damn it. <laughs> Why am I still tied with Pedro? Uh. <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. Yes, that one. I'm going to go with those two. They're the same. Yeah. Oh yeah! Did I get one? <laughs> yeah! Oh, God oh shit, empty's catching up! Damn it! <laughs> uh... Mm. Oh, okay. I think it's that one. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> uh, there's two. My mm. no, just there's one. Work, it's just Guam, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> just Guam. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was only Guam. I got that one. Yay. 
No, Bermuda's just Bermuda. <laughs> oh, fuck oh, that. Sometimes oh. you want to go where everybody, where everybody knows, knows your name. Knows your name. Dun, dun, dun. And so, like, I guess that's the CIA, right? The CIA is basically cheers. Woody Harrelson. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Just one. Damn it. Shit. Oh, oh god damn. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Oof. Of course, Empty knows his tears. Erectile dysfunction drugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Um, <laughs> Tech, I, I think Robo, Robo gets a technicality on that, Ben. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I think Robotussin is yeah. a cough medication. Mm, I would also sure, argue yeah, this. Dick's fix. Dick's fix. Levitra, because it yeah, makes baby. your dick levitate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop. Uh -oh. oh shit, empty, empty, uh -oh. empty oh, jack empty. me. There it is. He, due to his superior knowledge of cheers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ah, okay. okay. Can you break through to the other side? Bring on through to the other side! Ah, uh, that's the other side. Boom! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, empty oh, wins. If you, if you cocked yeah. that up, man. Oh, we all got that fast one. Dude. <laughs> we got that right, but... Yeah. Yeah, but if you're alive, you go first. Damn it! Damn your superior cheers knowledge! <laughs> I would have won if I had watched Cheers. <laughs> oh, dear. Jordan wins that one. Yeah, right. Technically. Okay. Yep. Squandered lead. Uh, okay, watch, watch me just dis snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. That's what I do. That's my superpower. <laughs> I can be like... Pretty much. I I could I could walk it in and I'll fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need to um go pee. Give me a sec. What you mean you can't pee from your desk? <laughs> Hard mode. On camera. He needs a catheter. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> Hard mode. Ultimate test of aim and around the corner. <laughs> ring, well, ring. Who is it? NHS. It's catheter. He works for the NHS. He could could you have like ca catheter arctic? Break. No, that wouldn't work. That'd be the worst no. X-Men name. <laughs> no, that's a new Marvel <laughs> superhero, man. Catheter. Catheter man. Exactly. Do you want a catheter, Mr. Fox Dog? Would you like to just no. be able to pee wherever you want? And it goes in a tube? <laughs> no, because then I'll have to change it. <laughs> no. Don't no, worry. You can just, you can just yeah, get on. Yeah. No problem. Give me a U, give me a T, give me an I. <laughs> oh. mm. no. I don't want to see that in like an episode of Little Britain. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah, that's an old God. <laughs> oh God. Especially if you've ever had one. It's not fun. I've never had a Jim Carrey, no. No! <laughs> well, thank God you've been vaccinated. <sighs> that was a good time to put the headset back on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's enough about Pedro's mustache. Um... <laughs> it's Pete <laughs> ah, That was a good attempt. <laughs> I need to get a refill. Then we're gonna do one last before we get out of here. <laughs> yes. One more time. One more time. 
And then I can go eat steak. Nice, Jordan. Don't make me hungry, Jordan. Come on. <laughs> I will, because I'm hungry. Yeah. And Misery loves company. <laughs> <laughs> gonna, gonna, gonna cook up some bell peppers and spinach with it. It's gonna be tasty. Yeah, no, uh, d d go ahead. Talk about bell peppers all hate you want. Day. I hate those. <laughs> you shouldn't, man. Like, well, one of those good. things has, like, 100% of your daily vitamin C intake. Yeah, no, oh, I'd rather good. eat an entire lemon or three. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Go eat that lemon, then. I'll wait. <laughs> I like lemon. I really Go, like yeah, lemon. Go, go, go yeah. eat a lemon. I mean, I eat bananas on the show all the time, and I make eye contact. And onion. I like onion. Mm -hmm. If I'm peeling an onion, I'll, I'll eat half of it. Are you gonna bite into a raw onion? Oh yeah, I can well, do that easily. <laughs> Mr. I just Brett. like the bitter stuff. I do. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> I do you drink vinegar? Too, Pedro. Oh yeah. <laughs> I love anything sour. <laughs> uh, uh, red vinegar. It's amazing. <laughs> Vinaigrette. Never had the opportunity. It's, uh, yeah, if you find red vinegar in your local I supermarket, to. it's totally worth it. <laughs> I didn't say I wanted it. So I never had the opportunity. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's worth it. Coming from you, I'm running in the other direction. <laughs> <laughs> just gotta keep an open mind, Foxy, come on. <laughs> All right. Look, I have a mind open like a steel trap. Right. <laughs> I'm going to tap that volume button. Oh, yeah. Woof, woof, what bark, the... bark. Yay. Oh, here we go. Yay. There we go. I love this one. Love, love, love. Fiery one. I do believe I'm going to be the. I'm going to be the bird. Mm, <laughs> the burb. Bird. I'm going to be Captain Pussy Pants. Bird, 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 bird. Bird. bird is the word. Bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. Bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. If you're watching at home, stay tuned. Bird. This one's a slow burn. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, I'm using the mouse on this one. <laughs> Welcome to TKO. I oh, am the boy. Master, and I we need some new shirt ideas. <laughs> right? <laughs> Just as the prophecy foretold, Earth's greatest t-shirt champions have gathered to do battle on... The prophecy island. sucks. The prophecy also foretold... <laughs> the prophecy owes together? me money. Jesus. <laughs> The prophecy slept with my sister, man. That's not cool. <laughs> oh, God. Three drawings. This is Octopimp. Oh, dang it. I should have brought Nori's thing. <laughs> Giggity. That's cheating. <laughs> right now. What are we supposed to be drawing? Anything? And yeah, I guess so. I got more colors now. Whoops. The audience to submit suggestions and affect the game. Yeah, they've done some updates recently to these games. with what I drew, fuckos. Because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't read what I yeah, was supposed to be drawing like those. right until I hit submit. No, I was like, oh, a... that's what I was supposed to go for. Never mind. Oh. Flaming katanas? Oh. <laughs> he said anything. 
<laughs> you see, Scott, that was my working theory. Right up until I read it tells you at the bottom what you're supposed to be drawing. <laughs> All right, I did it. Oh, okay. Someone's putting too much effort in. What's that, Lassie? <laughs> Mr. Alert didn't get one in. This time, try changing your shirt color with the little tabs at the bottom. Begin your second drawing. See, timers are just a suggestion, Alan. Oh, Animal Uprising. Okay. That's just a suggestion. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, someone have that one. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> and the answer to your question is fuck off. <laughs> Why should I type? <laughs> Because you should. And I said so. Alright. Whatever. I did it. Yay. One drawing to uh, let your freak flag fly, man. What about my big freak flag banner? Alright, one more. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I look forward to whatever the hell you have in store. This would be the background music in hell when you're um, forever entombed <laughs> in the room made entirely of asses. <laughs> Most of you. <laughs> Most of you. Most of you. <laughs> Most of you. Phrases as you can. These have nothing to do with your drawing, so just put those out of your mind. And there's no shame in hitting the suggestion oh, button if you need it. Fine. Go. <laughs> I know that's not your best material. Write another. <laughs> all right, I wrote them all. Finish up. Damn it. Nice hustle. Dang. Find out <laughs> <if it's good. laughs> uh, Scott beat me by one. 
The time for training is over. Have a look at your device. Select one drawing and <laughs> one slogan to create the perfect t-shirt combination. And I do mean perfect. Oh yeah, they changed this too. <laughs> yep, I'm going that. <laughs> I just really want to try to put a t-shirt on a snake now. <laughs> I'm going Snake over. Shirts, man. I just can't think of anybody I know that has a snake. Or where I, I could probably work out a little t-shirt. Snake shirts, new on the LGC store. Keep your snake warm. Fantastic. All is ready. Let the tournament begin. 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 Motherfuckers. Versus? <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck that is? I think those are reversed, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that could end up in the store. Yeah. Yep, there it is. Yep. <laughs> There we go. There we go. <laughs> awesome. <Hey>. Versus. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> <laughs> the title of the one. Yeah, that one should be on the others. The title. The text should be swapped on these two. No. <laughs> If oh. you're seeing a talking pizza, yes, you've probably been drinking. <laughs> Who are you? Aw, sorry, Scott. Uh, I was beaten by the best. That's a little bit delightfully dark. Um, yep. <laughs> Dominated. <laughs> yeah, oh god. Blam. There we go. Mercy. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. See him. Where the fuck you are? <laughs> <laughs> Nerd, nerd. Oh. Mm. Hong Kong Blam was solid, but I think he needs it was a solid, but bit. yeah. Yeah, not not quite enough. Versus. <laughs> I mean. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what is this XKCD or something? <laughs> yes, clearly. Okay, actually, that was mine. And what happened was I accidentally backed out of the uh, of the page. Pedro, uh, <laughs> I win. <laughs> <what>? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, I lose now. <laughs> yeah, snack I'm glad my shitty I'm glad my shitty MS paint drawing can give you such joy. <laughs> Put that down. Put that down, sir. <laughs> These are both mine. I don't know who to which one to choose. <laughs> Ah, oh, but... oh, there it is. <laughs> the audience wins. <laughs> Fuck a oh. lick.
Winners! <laughs> this feels like a good time hey. for a training break. Okay. I just saw the All face right. with that name, and it was just too Use good. Devices right. to enter one new drawing <laughs> and as many new slogans as you wish. All right. Make them count. Go. If you didn't qualify for the tournament, don't fret. Simply join the audience to submit your suggestions and vote on your favorite shirts. Yeah, have fun with that. Thing. <laughs> I just, you know, I, I... <laughs> That's words, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> no, th that was not words. That was the very antithesis of words. <laughs> that was a good attempt at a word. <laughs> the word is antithesis. <laughs> that was, uh... Me, five beers and tonight so yeah <laughs> he do words make good english <laughs> words are hard english i like oh, soft I'm words english. personally a nice flaccid <laughs> word just oh, give him a flaccid word he's a right across the forehead <laughs> <laughs> flaccid words just yeah, pouring all over my lips hurt so much <laughs> <Start writing. laughs> oh, damn it. Damn it! Uh, okay. The second Didn't have much time moves, that time. And the hairy paws of Kismet have shuffled your words <laughs> and slogans. <laughs> Sign your new shirt now. <laughs> it's, it's funny, the first combo it gave me was the best one out yep, of all of them. Let's go. So... <laughs> <laughs> I had nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Whoa. Gauntlet two. Let's go. The gauntlet inning. Attack. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? What is that? That's I'm just gonna say I wear Jordan, glasses, I so. <laughs> Whoa. Hmm? I can't see. Oh. Watch that tree, babe. Oh. A new challenger appears. Oh well. I want to <laughs> that's, that's a pretty easy one. Uh, that's my drawing too. That's one of my drawings. I had no Fertility. idea where I was going with that one. Yeah, no, Green no. hair, oh. red nipples. Oh. No, not my nipples. Womp womp. <laughs> well done, Scott. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What? Very so Santa a, themed. Um. It's, it's a beard. Yes. yes. What? Yeah. A, please put your foot in my mouth. I don't know why I consider like a bloody beard Santa. Well, yeah, I do. Or a trex. Yes, no witnesses. Do. No witnesses. <laughs> Aww. 
<laughs> Nothing more terrifying than the laughter of children. The fuck? <laughs> Fight for me, baby. Fight. That's just too high quality. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, that's what, an that actual t-shirt you'd see for sale. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's using a tablet. <laughs> it's the ball cube of happy. The happy ball. Fucking God. Yeah, no, I voted against myself, and I don't care. <laughs> what the fuck? For the power of Grayskull, for the love of Dongle. <laughs> Why are you any No, I you? think Santa still runs away with yep. it. Make it flaccid. <laughs> <laughs> As good as they just like mom used to make, but nope. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Hit the eject button on that one. Poop. <laughs> Is that person implying that the Dreamcast was shit? Technically correct. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's a paper clip. It's just a swirl. It looks like you're trying to take a shit. Would you like some? Would you like some help with that? Fluffy. <laughs> oh. Oh. Poop wins. <laughs> Poop wins. Oof. Oh, new oh, well done, Jill. <laughs> I didn't have very good drawings to go from. Oh, so. suck. <laughs> <laughs> As the lonely flower says to the sun, suck. <laughs> suck. Like my flower. Oh, it's up to the audience. Oh, and the yes. audience votes suck. Come to, come to daddy. Come suck. to daddy. Oh. Suck. Oh. That was the first one that popped up, too. That's I'm just like, yep, no, can't no, top that. <laughs> <laughs> steak winner. On the steak, steak. The final gold date, it's a shirt of. That bunny's been through some shit. Yes, I would like Make to see. Yes, yeah. Ooh, the rematch. <laughs> 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 I mean, they go together. Yeah. <laughs> it can be one side and the other. I get that there's the theme. Yes. Um, <laughs> oh. Two sides of the same penis. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Santa Flaccid. Yes. It's <laughs> not my beautiful t-shirt. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> Lord fuck a wick. Ruler of this realm. Tick tock, click clack. Glory be his name. Ah, no. both of mine got destroyed by Flats and Santa. <laughs> oh, I'm just glad on. I drew that Santa. <laughs> Well done. It's Scott's t-shirt, but I drew that set up. Very good paid rope. Oof. <laughs> Have you? Imagine wearing that well, out in the open. I wouldn't. <laughs> like, I wouldn't even blink. I'd wear both of those out. <laughs> I, I buy the Happy Been Drinking one. Sorry. <laughs> Oh. Uh, yes. Good choice. Beaten by the best. We have a yeah. We've determined the finest t-shirt. Now we just need the pants to go with it. Here we go again. Pants? Pants. Pants? Get them pants. <laughs> oh, never mind. No, it's the end. It was okay. a joke. Okay. Okay. Kerpants. <laughs> yeah. right. Wait. 
I don't even know if that That's right or nice. Pants or die? Mr. Fox Dog's winning these. shirt opened up a lot of doors of Hollywood, which led to an executive producer on the long running sitcom That's My Shirt. Several spin offs followed, including My Mother, The Shirt, Friends But With Shirts, and. <laughs> The shirt, shirt. sing along, sing along, Valley shirt Hour, sing along, Variety <laughs> Hour. Oh, Variety! Oh, Jill, yeah. Jill got the most adored. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, you got most prophylactic. Prophylactic. Because <laughs> <laughs> I saw three in my drawing. <laughs> oh well. Best writer. That was good. Oh man. Yeah, they're repeating now. Uh, I, I I had two in the finals. I'm okay Mike, with that. the T hen, the empty was the best art of tist. Well, of course. Yeah. He was. Yeah. That, that, <laughs> I mean, he's 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 got a leg up on all of us, right? Because he's got three. <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the nightmare train must pull back into the station from whence it came because it smells like <laughs> pants. Pants. <laughs> Skirt. Cut. Pumps. Pumps. Womp. 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 Oh, poop. It's difficult to stand against poop. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> Just a squiggle and poop. I'm there telling you, man. Danger. Danger. Thanks for everybody uh, showing up, hanging out in the after show. We got Jill, Katana, Foxy, Mir, Mr. Alert, Penny Vise, Scott, Empty. And of course, Jordan and Pedro doing the party, man. Uh, I've been Vince Stone, and you've been hanging out with us live. We're going to hang out in the Discord for a little bit in the After After Shows. And if you want to hop in the audio and come say hi or just creep, that's cool too. Until next week, actually until Tuesday, when Pedro's going to be back playing... Not playing. Well, uh, I might be playing with something else, but not OpenMW. <laughs> Ooh, the mystery Ooh, intensifies. Wow. Stay tuned to that. <laughs> Is he going to pay for right, Bloodborne and stream it with his capture card? Until Bye. then, Dynify. Bye. We love you. <laughs> Is that Bye. your O face? <laughs> <laughs>